All right, everybody, welcome here to the Cold Crew Exclusives channel. Thank you all for tuning in to another exciting event. This time around, a little bit something different for you guys here. We've got eight man squads ahead here for you. Talk about some big team battles, the old school, bringing back a little bit of excitement into PUBG as we watch six teams with eight players apiece. Look to be the best over the next four maps. We've got two matches for you guys on Aaron Gale, one for you guys on Vikendi, and one for you guys on Miramar as well. So a little bit of a different story to tell today as we look at six teams only with eight players to find themselves some money. Again, it's the weekend. We're out here to have some fun. We're looking to have a good time. That is exactly what we're going to get so far. So you'd love to see it happening here inside the Cold Crew Exclusives. Get signed up on the SSL. This is going to be the SSL link here. Make sure you guys check it out um, again because this is really we're only put, putting on events right now. you got the leagues here. you got Core doing things inside their Discord, the Core Discord, and then the FPL running events as well. But there's not a whole lot of uh, like custom lobbies like there used to be. TBG ran their event this morning. They ran it up. Um, as a, We got some fighting happening here. What, what are we – we got fist fights happening Mark's throwing down here, Viper's catching out this, and what the heck, this is that eight-man energy right here. Two members for Team 7 here inside the top of uh, Little Milta here, and uh, they find Dirty Pigeon there at the top. They're able to find that one. Troll and Purge kind of scrolling their way down there. Natty gets in a little bit of a scrap there with the vehicle. I think she makes it out of there, if I'm not mistaken, or we might have lost Natty already. Natty, are you are you gone? Did we loot Natty? She's gone. I think that's it right there. Natty already out for the lobby right there. Team 8 going to lose one. She tries to get the vehicle for her team. It just does not work out right there. Team 8 asked me to call them Team Donut. If you guys are in for your team after you guys check the lobby. If you guys want a team name, be sure to let me know. I'll be sure to call you guys whatever it is that you'd like to be called. But Team Donut for Team 8 here. Team 7 able to find a kill there as I believe that's Team 5. Coops' team to potentially uh, find a... No kills, but they lose Pigeon here. So this is Coops. And our eight-man draft here, we do a little bit of a tournament selection. So we've had six captains select their players. Coops, the captain for her squad here. So it looks like we've got Ben M's, Entels, Hawa, Jimbo, Kenty, and Troll all here on the roster here for Coops. So we'll see how they fare against another. There's RMV Zebo, the event coordinator himself there with Team 7. Being picked up here. They've got all eight members. Two kills already on the board for this team. One being BHE Natty and the other one being Pigeon right there. As it looks like TDT Trolla trying to find his way. Potentially away from it. You've got Kenty there at the bottom as well. This team looking to take the fight. They want to take it actually inside of Little Milta. Help coming out there from Kursky as Ben M's there to help as well. Both players for Team 5 finding their way out. Kursky going to line him up. Their shots come down onto Kenty, but Kenty... Puts him in return right there. Kursky over the side of the walls. It looks like Ben M's potentially to scout out Kursky here. Walshy, what do you got for us? Are you going to be able to get away? Ben M's with the iron sights on the mutant. Go to knock Kursky. He's going to find his way down and around. He's got other members to check for. Looking back, he's got Kursky. Come on, Walshy, what do you got for us? He's got the shotgun out. Ben M's with the stun grenade out. A little bit of action happening on all different fronts here. Again, this is the eight man. So many different players to be looking out for right now. Townie going to go down. Or Townie actually gets a knock on a coup from afar. Team 5 falling apart at the seams now. Ben M's going to get taken down. Viper with that UMP damage going to come through. And that is now two members now down here for Team 5. Coops confirmed. Kenta going to find the knock there on to Towney. And inside he's going to try to find his way away. The res comes through on to Ben M's. As you can see, Viper out there. Scouting for some ammo. They're going to get lined up here. He's got Troll at the base right there. He's going to get the 1v1. Viper going to lose it out right there. And he's going to fall. Good spray coming out there from Troll. And Kursky now falling for the back. That's going to be Entel's. Able to find Merc as well. Jimbo coming up for some sort of help. And this is just madness all over the place. There's still five members left up here for team number five. After getting the res there, VE. Merc still down. Curse, you got to bleed out. Viper's falling. Townie's finally picked up as this team seven trying to get the reset here. Curse and Merc both confirmed there. And that's team five now. Losing more and more players here. Confirming their kills as well. Merc and Curse, both down. Viper to get taken back down there. But there's Jebum. To potentially come up, trades that out. Howa now falling right there. Trolla able to get that next knock there. As you can see, outside Zebo still falling. There at the edge of the wall right there. Troll going to get taken down from Tony. What a beautiful angle coming out from Tony. They're playing it. This is absolute madness inside of Little Milta. And the aggression from these teams 
is fantastic. The amount of energy Zebo going to get picked up there. Tani will get that res. Troll has been confirmed as Ben Evans will take down Viper. That's one for one right there. Still five members left up there for Team 7 as this is Team 5 down to just three. Entails, Ben Evans, and Jimbo. Our other teams are pretty widespread amongst one another there. You can see taking control of Rozak School, D&B Apartments. That's going to be Team 6. Pochinki taken out by TR and the rest of these guys here for Viper and his squad. As Excuse me, no, this is Spree. No, this is Dill. This is Team 4. Dill squad. An another captain here. This is going to be Dill picking his squad. He's got Spencer, Crisco, Luca, Anto, Rousey, Slady, and Projects. And this right here is a team to be looking out for. Some absolute fraggers on that roster right there. But back to the action before it's all over here. Team 7 able to get those reses. Team 5 still with three players left. Looking to keep Team 7 inside of Little Milta. With five players still up, six kills on the board here. They're able to do plenty of damage. There's the Team 5. Team 5 may just want to play for the fact that they should get out of here. But again, being this is a more aggressive team, I don't think that's, that's what's going to happen here. Three kills on the board for them. And again, games like this, the, the interesting part, right, is, is you're just trying to find, you know, that little bit of rhythm, that little bit of momentum into it. You know, you got those kills here for both teams here. The confidence come through. I got the knock. You're feeding the info. You've got to watch out for so many different angles right now. Honestly, it just keeps you on your toes here for the 4v4 events. And then you're eventually going to come back into those events, right? And you're kind of just like, wow, like what is, what is seriously happening here? Like this is it. This is all that I got to watch out for. The 4v4 fights seem so much less intense after being in an 8-man event like this. But we're watching this fight kind of dwindle itself out here. We've got Team 5. They're holding Team 7. Hasn't even made their way out of Little Milton. Potentially thinking that, you know, maybe Team 5 moves their way out of here. I think we've got a vehicle right here. Yeah, that's Jebum T. Usta. I don't even know who that is. Why, what, what is. What is with the name? Come on. Making my job harder than it's got to be here. Jebum T. Usta. But who knows what that even means? Probably some ridiculous thing in Arabic. And these guys just out here throwing it down in this lobby. So, you know, there's Team 7. Five players up, six kills in the board. And Team 5 with three. Um, they're going to have to take their rotation, both teams. Uh, but I don't think they know that, uh, that this team is, is waiting here. Oh, Ben M is going to take down Zebo to follow. He's going to get Aaron. He's got J-Bum there. Ben M Zebo bench that man for the next competition, bro. Ben M is benched after taking out Zebo right there. Oh man, what is happening here? Team 7 loses 3. It's just left up to Zip Soul. They set up for the gatekeeper and they get it. Townie's already pulled away. Nade comes through right on to Zip Soul right there. Jimbo. Oh man, unlucky. What are you going to do about that one right there? I don't really think there's many moves you can make on that one. We're going to pull that one back. Turn down the volume a little bit. Sorry, a little bit height there. I've been doing some volume adjusts. Hopefully that's good. But jeez. Great grenade coming out there from Jimbo Zip. So we'll fall. Tony says, you know what? Let's just try to survive for some points. We got six kills, but we just lost half our team to three players of Team 5. Well played here by Ben Ems, Entels, and Jimbo. They're going to get all their loot. They've got two vehicles still to rotate in with. And we now have another team taking the rotation. Deliciosa caught out Keezy. What is this man doing? He's got the M249. Is he lying down? He's at the edge of the warehouse. He's going to find two knocks. Hasn't been able to confirm. Now he's going to get this... Next spray, looking to find Kizza as he opens up there. Kizza able to pull off their wonderful shot to come out from Keezy as he does find two knocks onto Team 8 here. The Donut Squad, is this going to be a potential reset here? As we can see, Delicioso and Kolev in a spot right now. The rest of Team 8 on the pull. Here comes Keezy to confirm. Can Team 8 be there before the confirmation comes through? They're going to crawl behind. Dell is going to get confirmed there. Keezy on the pull off. He's got one kill. He says, you know what? Here comes the rest of Team 8. I'm out of here. I'm able to get two kills at least. I'm off my donut. And that is Keezy with one kill in the bag there. Dell just unfortunate for her. She's not going to be able to get picked up here for her team as it looks like Groza pulls up. And he's going to secure the res here on the Kolev. Unlucky right there. But Keezy sitting back up. He's got him. Is he going to prone it out here? If I can see Keezy prone it out here with some M249 shots. Beautiful. Beautiful. But it looks like he's going to try to make his way over. He's only got 44 bullets left in the chamber here. Unlucky Coops 
Shots coming out. There's Keezy again trying to get him out of the vehicle. This man with the M249. Jeez, Keezy. Take it easy on him. There's Town. He's going to go down to the zone right there. Just not enough health to make it to that next zone. As Keezy still trying to put shots out here. Black Groza as well as Kolev going to pull up here. They should be able to put shots now back down onto Keezy there. Coming out phase two here. Your team eight's going to have to be very, very careful. Majin Boo up there over at the top. Looking to potentially do some damage here on a team eight. I think he's actually going to pull back. Does some scouting here. Realizes there's a team there. He's trying to find some angles. Trying to get a knock here. Uh, but again, you know it's eight, man. you got to be very, very careful as to what you're doing. Rotation coming from these two teams is going to be out. Keezy still not able to find the knock. And we have five teams still remaining. This team grabbing all the meds they can. Trying to find their way into this position here. And it's not looking great. But what a circle to start off with here for phase number three. Phase three about to close here, giving us that next circle, which will probably potentially put Quarry into a little bit more of a donut position right there. Centering it up, and I think giving us that south pool right there. So much chance for these teams to get rotating kills on team um, six and team eight here. As it looks like Clumsy, Loopy, and the rest of team eight going to regroup with the remainder of their group. As shots coming out there from Majin Buu. No knock just yet. Luna is in a bad position there, but Dank able to pick up here for Majin. And this is going to be team six. Still two kills and the full team is still alive. As I say that, there goes the team Cap. Cap going to get shot down right there. Good shot from Bamsi. The both in play right there. Going to find Intel a little bit too far outstretched there from the compound, but he is going to crawl his way to safety right there. Get the res as it looks like. Who's that to pick the res right here? Good res coming through. Pixel. There it is, CTK right there inside the lobby. Pixel able to find his way in. And look, look Pix, we were able to even get that uh, that full lobby in. 48 players lift up. Uh, happy to see it, man. Thanks for tuning into the chat earlier. Thanks for hopping in the stream earlier, bro. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. On the rotation, here comes Skull. They're driving right past Team 3 here. Going right up to the position. Shots coming through. Quantum and righty. Arm is taken down. Skull Slammer turning around. Not even sure why they decided to come this direction. Where are the comms at by the team right there? Poor Arminus. Just shot out of the vehicle. Bamsi going to bolt him for the pickup right there. And man, come on. What? My, my man Arminus, what did the guy do? He's just trying to pick up, play some eight-man drafts here. Gets shot out of the vehicle here. Straight cooling, and that's him. Out in a 30-second there, you know. And Gunner Man, I knew, I knew it, bro. I freaking knew it, dude. Like, what? What honestly is that? Like, what is that? That really to be said? I, I'll just keep it that we don't know, bro. I'll just keep it that we don't know, okay? I'm happy, happy with that. You know, hopefully I said it right, bro. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that. Gunner in a DM, bro. Translate that for me. Send it to me. What's it saying? What do we got here, bro? Care pack dropping. Where are we going? Who's getting it? Oh, we're looking at it coming down. There's the care pack. What do we got? I should extend these up. I'm going to extend the care packs in next game. So if you're watching, we're going to have like 16 weapons inside the care pack so somebody can get it to love here. Three gear, the AUG, a 15 times scope. Ben M's will fall to the zone right there. Nothing they're gonna really going to be able to do. Not able to find meds right there, but two players still alive for Team 5. There's, they're going to find their way in the fight, potentially ready to break out. All of Team 6 sends it on to Bamsey here. Bamsey says, you know what? The mountaintop's yours. You guys can have it. I'm going to regroup with the team. Across the way, you can see Purge still looking. Ben Ems will go down to the zone right there. Luca pulling up there for his team. This team for Dill's squad here. Dill going to get control of that care package right off the rip. Nice read from Dill there, as you can see, I believe. Team 3 looking in that direction, but there's nobody really there to do damage. But there's Kolev pulling up at the same time with Luffy Luna. Spencer going to find the knock on to Luna. Kolev looking to return. He's going to do some damage here on the Spencer. But from the back, that's Projects. Going to get the knockdown on to Kolev. Kolev will fall. Two members down on for Team 8. Groza on the retreat. He's inside the vehicle. Does he take the fight to save his team? No, he's on the retreat to regroup with the squad. Projects is going to confirm one. Spencer confirms the other. And that's two members now in the bag here for Team 4. Luca looking to find some shots there on the Groza as he retreats his way to the rest of Team 8. Two kills now in the bag here for Dill and the Lads. 
unlucky nice little read there coming out from dill and the squad to pull up as a group there as it looks like just two members there for the squad pulled up another care package here in place as dill gets credit for that one that's team four two care pack weapons three gear all types of energy dill gonna find teasy right there it's fancy looking to find that spray on the dock there is so many different players inside this little compound right here Righty and Vampsy over the top. Spree from the back is going to find Skull Sniper right there. But we have the flank. Vampsy is going to get the med off right there. Skull Sniper, no chance for Rez. As we have Righty here at the top right there. What is he going to be able to pull off for his team? Shots coming out from the third party. He's got to keep his head down. He's got to keep his feet moving. Dank looking to meet him there at the top of the stairs. As Righty puts some shots down. Nothing in return right there. From the bottom, Majin Buu. Will fall. Vampsy will fall as well. Trade one for one. Ready is going to get the confirmation on to Dank right there. Andrew Liu, thank you for the follow right there. Righty confirming Dank. Pixel confirming Righty. And we have just three members left up here. If they can get the res there on to Righty. Another three for Team 3 just at the top side of the screen right there. Nades coming through trying to find the knock from Pixel. Not to one of the members from Team 3, but it's not going to happen. There is Spree ready to get the knock on to Twitch. Nades coming through to find the knock. Another player. It's going to be Intel. Get the 1v1 here with Spree. Who comes out on top? Is it Purge or is it Intel? Intel with on the chase. The Molly to come through. Intel on fire. Spree to get the knock on a sniper as the res comes through. It's confirmed. Pixel now knocking Spree as Pixel just doing bits for the team right here. What's he going to be able to pull off? Is he still able to find another knock? Quantum behind the crate as Pixel looking to find his spray. Once Quantum comes out of the crate right there, it should easily be a GG's. Rotating teams are on the bottom right. Nobody else really in action. This Jimbo looking to potentially get into it here with Unearthly Gem. Good shots coming out from Pixel. He's going to do the damage. Spree still bleeding out down there on the bottom as Twitch is picked up. Team 6 back up to full 4 players as Dynamic to stick the res inside the smoke. Spree should be getting picked up here. Love to see it. Twitch still gets the heal off, gets his boost. He's doing the rest of the work right there. The res is good for Spree, and that's now Righty, the only player left down here still for Team 3. Majin Buu comes up. He's going to see Righty there bleeding out. Doesn't even know that he's there. Confirms that kill right there. Righty unlucky right there. TR, this is going to be Majin Buu. Yoda, what do you got for us, man? Down there at the bottom, Spree is in a full push mode right here, trying to find another knock. Twitch there at the edge of the building looking to come over the top potential to get some angle on the spree, but it's not going to happen. Quantum from the bottom meeting the barrel spray of Pixel. Coming through, he's got the micro Uzi. Micro V barrel, who's going to come out on top? Both sprays happen. No knock comes through. As we pull back off of their spree, now getting the 1v1 here with Majin Boo right outside. Oh, Boo tries to switch over to the SKS to get the knock there, but spree just too quick with the AK. Got to find that knock there, there in the distance. A couple of different knocks still happening. As this is just absolute madness here. Big team battles here. Still five teams left up. But soon before we know it, that is going to change right there. Quantum going to find the knock on to Intel inside the building right there. Spree still trying to survive here as Quantum gets that when their team six falling apart. Dynamic trade off from Pixlor and this man. Doing his bits. Going to find shots onto the next. Out the window here. Down the bottom there. Finds Quantum yet again. Good shots coming out from Pixel. This man is on crack right now. Spree at the edge of the wall right there. Gets the barrel spray coming out from Pixel, but still no knock to return. There he is. Opens up right there, but Spree just too quick with that AK. It's just better. Spree, good shots come through. Pixel now take it down there for Team 6. Twitch, the last one left up there for his team. And Spree going to get that 1v1. He beats the man, the M4 of Twitch right there. Man, I've never seen the 556 five, beat out the 762 like that in quite some time. Twitch to follow. Now the barrel spray. Twitch will fall to the zone right there. And Quantum probably to follow. He's not going to get the med off right there. Quantum now down. Team 3 going to lose 2 in that trade out. And man, oh man, absolute chaos there for both Team 3 and Team 6. Team 6 will fall. Team 3 still with members inside the circles as Viper looking to get some kills on that. That's Team 4. Dill Squad picks up Quantum. Can they get Righty as well? As it looks like we have four teams now remaining. Somehow Team 5 still inside of the game here. As you can see, Jimbo and Entels there on the edge of the zone made their way away from Team 8. And now, inside Phase 5, we have these teams looking to potentially put up their first chicken dinner in the 8-man draft series. Dynamic going to go down right there. Pixlor, credit for that one there, even though Team 6 is out. One more kill on the board for them. Well played from Team 6, but Team 3 just gatekept right there inside. And it was uh, Pixlor on one side, Spree on Team 3's side. Spree with three kills there for the team. 
after just finding them onto Team 6 here in the seconds ago. Good shot from Richie. He's going to get the knock here on the gem. Nades come through to follow. Trying to confirm the rest of these kills. His hacker over the top. Shots come through on the Groza. Funky's still there in the back. And man, Team 8 with just two members left up. Team 5 with just two members left up. It's looking like the favors are starting to favor these bigger teams here. But Team 3 with just three members left. It's really looking like it's going to be Team 4. Team 4 has so many members still left alive. Even if Team 3 comes out on top here with the victory. It's going to be a tough game for them to win there against all of them members of Team 4. All these broken teams are fighting one another. Team 4 just sitting there watching it all happen. Waiting for the victory as they have literally, I think, maybe one member left. Or one member that died. No, all eight players still up here for Team 4. Dill's just like, hey guys, let them fight. We got circle control. Let them do what they do. And uh, we'll take the fights here in the late game. Look at that circle control. That circle control from Team 4 right now. Holy crap. That is insane the circle control from Team 4 right now. The rest of these teams all bunched up on this western side of the circle. And man, it's, that's absolute chaos right there. Absolute chaos. No knock, no res, no nothing here in these type of situations. It's going to be a neck and neck here. Phase 5 closing in the next 50 seconds here. Who gets pushed out? Team 4 no doubt inside the zone in one of the positions that they're in. Still two members left up. No kills for the team just yet, but they're inside uh, positioning here. As I don't know if we're actually doing placement points, i got to talk with Zeeb to see if that's happening here. But again, if that's placement points, the further and further they make it up the top of the later here, uh, the more and more placement points they will get in this competition. Otherwise, the kills are going to be huge. Jimbo taking some damage here in the back right there. Luka going to trade one. As Entels will fall, Luka able to take that one down right there. One member left up for Team 5. Two left up for Team 8, the Donut Squad. And let's see if Team 5 Jimbo can just hang on a little bit longer here as Luca peeks up over the top. He's going to find another knock. This time it's Richie. Luca absolutely cracked for the team as well. This is his first two kills of the team, but he's been lighting up um, all over the place. Damage insane for Luca right now. Chris is going to find another knock. That's Nakamanu for Team 3 as Richie's down already. It's just Hacker left up here for Team 3. The nades are getting tossed in. It's going to find its way in. I think that's going to be a GG's for Hacker. Ooh, right a little bit too far right there. Dill will confirm Richie, but it's Hacker still alive there for Team 3. Another nade to follow. It's Smoke still this time from the side. That's going to be Team 4 trying to find these final few knocks. Jimbo will find the knock onto Luka. Flushes him out instantly there, and that is one more in the bag there for Team 5. Jimbo still surviving. He's got the ridge still to work with there on his backside. Nobody to worry about, but he's outside the zone right now. As you can see, shots coming through trying to find that little bit of head of Jimbo, but it's not going to happen. Looks like he will be safe for right now. But the rotation from these teams is going to be insane. Envy. Look at you guys, man. I love the calls from Dill right now. Seven kills on the board for this team. They just lose two. Luca to the rat. Jimbo right there. And Slady to an unfortunate kill right there. But it is right now. Six players still up. Another one. We're going to go down. Rousey now falling right now. And man, after looking so strong, the attention now getting turned on to Team 4. More and more members continuing to fall for this squad right now. Is it going to be their game? Or do we potentially see the game shift here in the final phase? And that comes through. Chris is going to fall. He opens up trying to find Hacker. But the, that just shots too good from Groza. Jimbo will fall. Three teams now remain. Is that Team 5 out in fourth? Nade getting cooked up. Going to get tossed. Is a little bit too far. The bounce is looking good. Does the damage. Not going to find the knock. Chris go back on his feet as they're playing it right. Another smoke. That grenade right there. Had it been a little bit further... Could have been good right there. That smoke going to eventually come out right there as Crisco getting his heels off, getting the bandos off. Um, this is going to allow that team a chance to reset as they pull back. Dill's taking a lot of damage right there. They need to wash their heads. They have eight kills on the board still with five players left up here. Now it's a matter of just finding these other knocks. It's a 2v1v5 v here. You've got one member left up here for Team 3 Hacker. Just hoping that the fights break out all outside of him. He's inside the little bedroom right here again nobody really worried about his position as Anton will climb on the roof there unknowingly that hacker is sitting there so this is going to be a great game coming out from team four shots keeping this team out on the outer edge of the zone as you can see Spencer opens up with the aug to start now goes for the reload team eight pinned inside the, the little blue building right there as they're going to have to come out eventually it's eventually just going to be the firing range Crisco gets the revenge there on the Groza returns that knock flushes it out clumsy spotted out by Spencer Crisco and Anto all at the same time. And that's Amber down and out. There she will be falling out in eight, or excuse me, in the third for Team 8. Yo, is that Mark I see in my chat, bro? How the hell you been, bro? Hope everything's good out there for you and um, uh, the league, man. 
Haven't talked to you in quite some time since EPT fell apart, bro. It's good to see you still out there doing your thing, man. Hope all is well for you. Elite Esports, baby, in the chat. How you doing, brother? Look at these guys just scouring. They don't even know they've walked right past Hacker. They're just scouring the map there. They've got five players up looking for everybody, and it is just not a great time right now for Hacker. Is he denying points here? What's he doing? He's literally just sitting inside. This man has nothing better to do, nowhere to go. He's just hoping to potentially put up a few more points here uh, if he can find a knock and some kills here. But again, with the 1v5 situation, the Hacker has quite the job set out for him here. Looking to do some bits here. Making its way around. Spencer, Anto, Projects, Crisco. There it is. Get the 1v1. He's going to open up with a few shots. No knock to come through. Three players, 14 4. Surrounding Hacker right here. He's going to cook the grenade up. Toss it over the top. Spencer with the arm from the side. Tries to get the damage to be done, but it's just not going to come through yet. Down and around the hill. Hacker going to make his way away. The stun in play. Now to the left. He's going to spread and spray back on a Spencer. Are they going to take the Fist of Fury out? It is a absolute bloodbath. Hacker to open up. Look at this. It is madness. They are swarming this man. He's going to find one. He's going to go for the second. Go for the confirm. He's not going to find it. He's going to get Anto down. They're playing this man. Look at him. Oh my God. It's beating him down. He's got the Molly out. He's looking for the kills. Projects with the barrel to deny any more points. And let's go, baby. Well played there by Team 4. Hacker does at least manage to take down Anto in all that chaos. And man, what a finish there to game one. Back for game number two here as we get set up for the intermission. Man, what a crazy game right there for game number one. That is absolutely insane. We're going to get this pulled back, get it set up here. And sheesh. Action pack game number one here for the draft event. Yo, thank you all for tuning in here. It's your host, CeCe. Thank you guys for being here. Absolutely fantastic draft event. This is the second one that I've hosted here for the uh, SSL put together by Zebo. So you know what? Get your guys' teams involved next time around here. These draft events, man. A chance for you to get involved with the community. Get to know a little bit of the community. So we'll have to see, you know, what is exactly going on. You know, uh, with with this. But again, it's a chance for you to, as a team, get yourself, get your player. If you're a, maybe a solo player, you don't have a team to be with. Put yourself in the draft, get picked up. You may be the last pick. You may find yourself one or two teammates, somebody to play with here. And if you can, uh, again, just kind of create that that for yourself. You know, and again, we're here to play PUBG. Not everybody likes playing solos, but not everybody also has a team to play with. So, draft events, kind of a way for you to find that footing with one another. We switch it out. Well, we're actually going to switch it over to Miramar. We've got Vikendi to follow and then another Arangale still to come here as we get our 56 players set up. 48 will be in there. Actually, no. What are we doing? Um, switch that over and then we'll see everybody back here in just a little bit. We'll get the lobby set up and then five minutes on the clock here to get everybody in. i got to switch that still to eight players and you'll love to see it. Switch that over to EU and there we are. Add that up to 62 or 64. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. Ready, set, go, and there we are. But again, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel here, uh, be sure to type in underscore or exclamation point SSL to get yourself some information on the Discord and to get your team interested in either the SSL League, other Discords out there, um, in order to leak yourselves up to scrims, some paids, as well as, uh, obviously, the leagues out there. You guys know that we've got plenty of leagues here in the EU side of things, so that's exactly what we're trying to do is just keep them leagues, keep your players happy, and then doing events like this just kind of keeps the things from getting stale. When we run every paid event and we run every, it's the same stuff every week. This time around, you get to play with different players. You get to see um, different thought processes. Again, a little bit less sweaty, a lot more, um, you know, push this, push that. Let's see how we do as a team, and you respect that. In a lobby like this, is exactly what we can ask for. Thank you to the 48 players who signed up. Thank you all for being here on time. And you know what? With game number two up, I got high hopes here. It's Miramar this time around here. I'm going to speed up some of the circles um, just to make things a little bit faster. There come phase one. So let's actually look at some of the blue uh, the blue zone here. As we look at that blue zone, phase one delay. The weight is 240. We're actually going to switch it um, to about 
200. We're going to cut down some time there. Phase weight about 200. Move about 270. The pace will be in a little bit. Phase 5 is still to come in. Delay 90 seconds. No delay. Phase 2 is still to come in with 90. 333. Three. We'll switch that. And, you know, I'm just going to switch this to 60 just to kind of push it up a little bit further. Oop, no, we want that zero. I want this to be 60. Okay, just to kind of keep things a little bit faster here, it's still going to be moving pretty slow, as you can see what's going on there, but we're going to kind of move the play zone up a little bit as well as uh, potentially increase some of the care pack loot here. Where's my care packages at? With this amount of players here, uh, we're going to go find that care package. Care package frequency. We're going to turn that up a little bit. So we're going to see a few more care packages here. Put things a little bit more interesting, you know, over this time being. And let's get it started. We're missing one player here. Um, are we coming? And let me see. Let me send a message here to make sure we're not missing this player. And we'll get you guys started up already. There's Jem. There she is. Uh, Jem, I thought we were going to miss you, girl. Okay, Jem's going to make it in here. We've got all eight players back inside the lobby this time around. Silent Savage is going to make it on for Team 8 in spot of Groza there. So there we are. And we are all set to go here. Hacker with the one point there. On to Anto. Anto, unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. What a fight, though. I love to see it, man. What a way to end the game right there. Action like that, you know, again, in a 1v5 situation. To make the content, to make it entertaining. Hacker and the rest of the team for Dill. Great shot out there, man. Great shot out. Get this game started here. We have all players here. As we put it back, let's move it back and shift things over. Lobby is going to be closed. 48 players in here on Miramar. Let's get it. Yeah, man, what you got my boy Zebo banned for, Mark? Come on. Come on, bro. Yo, you already know, and you already know this is Zebo, bro. It's just, I, I do this every time for Zebo with this eight man, man. We just try to do something a little bit different, Mark. Trying to keep things interesting, brother, you know. Eight man, eight man, eight man. I think we even did this back in EPT when I was running for you, too, man. So I'm about to say, just, just respect, bro. Just respect. Lo love to see it. Hopefully, uh,. We can all come together here as event coordinators, man. I said I keep trying to tell, I keep trying to preach. I want one big, you know, huge Discord for EU to just succeed and have you guys all come together, whether you run multiple leagues, multiple this, multiple that. Since I started working with Mark, that's always been my end goal for you guys is to get you all in one place, all hubbed up, and potentially get you guys some background for PUBG, you know, because you guys get backed up. You know, that's the community getting backed up. That's the events getting backed up. That just screams, you know, great things, you know, for the eu community for the eu PUBG console scene so you know what hey squash them beefs man squash them beefs nobody's better than the next we all got different ideas your ideas are going to work sometimes my ideas are going to work sometimes your ideas are going to be trash sometimes my ideas are going to be trash sometimes it just is what it is here we are with the eight mans putting it back and you know what we got to do something mark you know i said again you have people complaining about our one day paid's getting stale you got people saying that you know people are dropping on this dropping on that you know what i'm saying it, it is what it is but Getting it back in there. I'm going to go check my pizza real quick, fill up my coffee, and then we'll be back here for game number one or number <clears throat> number two. <clears throat> game number two, getting started back up for you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we are back with the action. Jem, how you know I'm right here? It's like Jem sees the camera. She's gonna pose right for it. She's gonna stop right. You gonna start dancing for us too, Jem? BRB, everybody. I'll be right back here in just a second. Let me play you guys a little bit of tunes.
All right, everybody, and we are back. And hey, bro, yeah, we are definitely going hardcore on the zones, dude. We're pushing these people in, man. I, and not to rush anybody out there, but you know, we about to have these guys rushing for this next zone. I'm trying to see some fights, bro. What you mean? You like watching the rotations here on eight man? It's like they're about to put this in the man. We're getting that action in here, uh, Mark. We we got this, bro. We got this. Turn them zones up. We're getting that care pack loot up, man. These teams are going to be sweating it out here. I want to see these care pack zones come through, bro. All right, thank you. All right, and there's our teams dropping. No hot drop. A lot more respect this time around. Pigeon himself inside the chat, man. This man just wants to get a gun and uh, be able to walk away this time. That looks like exactly what is also going to happen right there. Hey, with the beard love, bro, I appreciate that, man. Been working hard. I got to show you about this, this big facts right here, bro. That's big beard life, you know. That's that Rick Ross. Oh. <laughs> got to love it, dude. Got to love it. Like I said, the fact that I can still grab and pull like that, man. I've been thinking about cutting it. But, shit, man, I can't. I can't not be without a beard, bro. It's all me. Keezy, good shots with that M249 this time around. He's got an M16 SLR in hand. What's he going to bring back to the table here? Pulling it back there is Team 5 inside Shuma. Los Leones Trolla takes it all by himself. That circle shift down to the south. Ooh, we got about 40% water here. This is going to be an action-packed phase shift here. We've only got three minutes. I made that phase close super quick. So these teams got to loot, got to get into that next zone. Come the next zone as well, it's going to be pushing itself a little bit further quick. So this way, again... This, this, you got to get your loot. You got to go. Grab what you want. Get inside that zone and then take the fights here. Again, I don't want to see everybody looted up with eight times. And this, and that. I want to see some BSS sprays. I want to see the DBS. I'm trying to see all types of different weapons, different utilities thrown in here, man, to make this an exciting eight-man event here to just give you guys content. That's what we're bringing, man. We want content. We want to deliver some action. We want something that you guys are enjoying watching. Here's our purge mix-up here. Edition of Vamsi, Quantum, and Nakamanu. Hacker as well makes his way into second there. Finds one kill on the Antopat, and what a great finish. Yo, dude, I'm so trying to get myself into Halo hosting as well, dude. I love PUBG. I'm always going to love PUBG. It's the staple of my community, the staple of my uh, hosting career, honestly. But I would love to get into some Halo hosting, dude, just to get a chance to host something new. Host something a little bit uh, fresher. Just kind of put, you know, something else in rotation, dude. I see, I've hosted a lot of PUBG tournaments, as we all have, you know, inside this five-year time span of PUBG. I really just want to see something kind of come out a little bit different. You know, Halo would be, would be cool. It would be a little bit different content on the channel, right? Um, teams are still playing and teams are still sweating. The comms are different. The call-outs are different. The knocks, there's no knocks, right? It's, it's just a kill. It's, you know, it's the commentation is different. I think it just, again, Mark, for us, it, it sets that level of variation. It, it kind of gives us more of an expansive um, portfolio, saying that, hey, we, you know, we're, we're multi-talented and stuff like that. But again, it's harder and harder to get yourselves in those positions because a lot of us have started these discords and have done these things um, inside of uh, PUBG discords, you know, and have created opportunities for ourselves. And, you know, again, that we either have to start that with Halo or just kind of find scenes that have already been created and, and get ourselves involved there, man. It's, you know, it, it's a toss-up, bro. It's a toss-up for sure. But... On another note, I'm building a caster um, union, what we'll call it here. And like I said, if you know anybody who's casting, if any of you guys in the chat actually want to cast and are looking forward to casting, whether it be once a month, whether it be once, now be two weeks, whether it be once, whenever, you know, shoot me a message. I'm looking for new hosts. And again, you don't have to have all the setup. You don't have to have all, you know, the, um, what do you want to call it? The Elgados, the capture cards, all that stuff. You don't have to have all that. I just want you guys, if you guys are interested in casting shoot me a message man shoot me a message i will run the host i will run the stream I, I just want somebody to sit here and chit chat with to talk to to you know to bullshit to to send some ideas back off of man when you're talking to yourself the entire stream you know the chat after five minutes of delay sometimes just doesn't always catch that same sense of uh you know re respect and that sense of uh engagement being able to engage with the chat and being able to kind of you know take a step back and engage with the map and give you guys more directive content really helps me be a better host and helps me deliver better content to you guys so if you guys even want to host one game every freaking two weeks man every month get involved send me a message let me know what's going on i mean let me let me know like i said if you guys are and mark same thing for you bro if you want to send up 
and and do some hosting. Bro, as a co-host, we used to try and do it back then. We didn't get so much opportunity to co-host back then. But now, dude, be in a position that we're both at, dude. If you want to drop in, you know, for a duo host anytime, dude. I, I open the door to any of the old school PUBG hosts, any of the hosts still looking. Because again, I'm no better than any of the, the rest of you guys here trying to create a scene for PUBG to be played at a, a place for PUBG to be recognized as an esports console serious game. I would love to have you guys with twenty five thousand dollar tournaments to play in. You know, much like Halo, much like the rest of these games, where you can see there's so much worth in the esports side of things here. I, I remember growing up as a kid watching MLG and uh, you know playing Halo, you know, major league gaming. The amount of money you used to be able to make as a kid playing Halo was ridiculous. I want that opportunity for these kids inside of. Uh, PUBG now, Luca. Luca. Oh, he gets the luck and flips back over. He's gonna regroup. Crisco was ready to turn around, but he says, "You know, I I don't even want to touch this thing, bro. Get me out of the vehicle here." He's gonna stop putting some shots out on the Entels, though. He at least gets that chance. No, not gonna come through. Back inside the vehicle, he's gonna pull himself away. There, good shots coming out from Luca as Entels pulls away. Both players safe to regroup and re-rotate with the squads here. These two teams, the only two teams out of our six teams to be inside this next zone. Not comfortable. It's not looking great, but hey, we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at this. Team four. Well done on the rotation. These guys in their rotations today, they're playing circle, circle, circle. They're waiting that center circle. They're taking fights as they come on their angles. They're staying grouped up 2-2. Two, two. Same with the rest of these teams. Jimbo a little bit solo here. Uh, but again, the rest of these teams staying relatively grouped up here, taking the fights as they need to come. And that is crazy. That is absolutely insane. And, bro, we ain't, yeah, I, I can't cut it, bro. We got a Rick Ross it. Keep the whoa going, man. I'm going to get some Rick Ross uh what is it called? Sound, sound, what is it? Sound, sound stream deck stuff, sound effects. Man, I'm, I'm all over the place. I gotta get a few things. I gotta get my stream deck back up and running now that the stream's starting to be good content. We're gonna come back with, um, hopefully the new PC eventually. I need to take time away to set up to redo the stream room. I, I just, I'm trying to avoid taking time off to not deliver you guys content because as soon as I have to take a break here, it's gonna be a week of me not hosting, a week of me resetting up the, the stream, and a week of me just resetting up. Um, a couple different things um, inside the stream. Look at this rotation kills here. You've got Richie and Luffy Luna all set up here. Richie going to hop out of the bike here, trying to put some shots down on the teammate as they rotate. No, not going to come through. Good shots. Yo, bro, I'd be giving you them delicious looking zones here. Teams always love to play in my kind of zones here. I deliver nothing but the spiciest, bro. You know how we do over here on CC exclusives. Ooh, that rotation coming in. They're driving. They're on the chase here. Team 8. Man, the Donut Squad just not getting any luck tonight or any sort of love as we hop back off that. There they will go. They will continue to chase this team. And then they do find their way. Dell still 100%. She got shot on the car last time. This time around at least gets a chance to see the lobby. Let her shoot her gun. Let her do something. Dell's always a good supporter of my channel. I need to see her do well here. Okay, take it easy on my girl Delicioso over there, okay? Do find their way in. Here we go. Coming back. There's going to be Team 7, I believe, making the rotation in this way. There is Team 7. Yeah, we'll take that rotation there. And yeah, no doubt, dude. Halo is so much more faster paced, dude. Um, you know, again, it's a different level of commentary, dude. I, I'm curious to see, you know, again, how it would turn out. I want to see somebody host a, a, put, uh, a Halo tournament before I actually sign up to and decide to do it. I want to see what it's like, what it's done. What kind of views we have. You got to play around with it a lot. Same thing when I started doing um, PUBG casting, dude. It, it honestly just came down to, to me figuring out the cameras, figuring out, you know, how to zoom, figuring out how to, you know, turn this and that on you know, so that you can see the players inside. And, you know, this way I can see, you know, that glow effect going on there. You know, you, you just learn to start to do all these things. It makes your casting, it makes the camera work, it makes all that so much better. So, you know, again, dude, I... I know, yeah, you started up your own PGE, you know, kind of Discord over there, you know, that's doing Halo stuff, dude. Feel free to reach out, dude, if you need some help hosting any of the Halo events, and I'll do the same there. I will right, we'll do the same, mate, trying to keep you involved here in PUBG. Because, again, it's just sometimes it's not the most entertaining talking to myself uh, the entirety of the uh, 
uh, competition. The entirety of these tournaments. Shots coming through. That's going to be Jabem Teusta over here taking shots. So many teams. This is going to be insane. This is about to be absolutely a gem. Get out of there. Don't even take part in this fight. Across the top, there's the full eight-man squad looking to now take down Team 3. The setup is insane. There is Richie looking to find some knocks. He's going to look over here. Barrel Sprite going to come through. You got to get the knock on the zip. So he relieves the pressure. Over the top comes both Merc and Aaron. Down Richie will fall. Zip still not confirmed at 7. Looking to make this push to get the res on his soul. They are going to find their way there. Dynamic to find the knock on and Merc at least slowing down the push down the hill. From the side, I believe that's going to be Tony. Tony looking in the direction, actually, of Hacker. Gets some good shots down as Dynamic. Now looking to confirm Merc. Merc going to fall. Good flush coming out there from Dynamic. Now Tony over the top. Looking like he's going to potentially put some ammo into Hacker. No. Pulls back. Tony does do some shots, but he's not going to get no damage really being done in a situation like this. As we have both these teams pressuring away from the fight here. Still 45 players left up. Not a whole lot of knocks. Quantum is going to find Gem. Gem doesn't get far enough away. As it looks like Quantum able to find that kill right there. I believe still on rotation. Yeah. Oh, Jeb flipped the car. She flipped the car. Right off the hill. That's unlucky for Jem. She's going to die right there. Quantum credit for that kill right there. As we get back to the fight here, these teams have kind of broken away. Euro Crisco going to fall. It looks like now the attention to bring is with Team 5. Dill already taken down here for his team as the captain. Now going to IGL from the grave with six players still left up. T5, the girl Coops, running point here. What do we got here? Two kills in the bag. Um, if they can confirm those kills, one stolen away. Dill actually confirmed there, so it's just one kill over on the other end here at the edge of the zone. Rousey coming through. He's going to find Dank. Pixler already taken down here. Looks like Team 6 absolutely having a bad day right now with these three players of Team 4 running up. Pixler is still putting on phase 3. The Reds should still come through. Nades being tossed through the edge of the warehouse. There is it's not going to find a home. No damage. Dank already confirmed. Majin Boo taken down. Twitch Odin is going to pick up Pixel. Picks him on his back inside the zone. He's going to get for that res. And Antopat will have to stop here. Skull Slapper on the backside. Arminus on another. Looking at the vehicle, but he's going to find Antopat. Have to be careful because Rousey's still at uh, the edge of the zone there in the blue. He's going to take the buggy, get the rotation, and we'll see where he does end up. There it is. Shots coming out. Rousey, you got a way to make yourself a way here. Eee, eee. Rousey gonna stop here, call it home for now. He's not inside his zone. He's gonna turn around and put some pressure back on a team six. Anto's still bleeding out here. I'm surprised Rousey left him. That's that's teammates right there. That's Viper. That's the Viper boys right there. You can't let your teammate die like that. Don't leave Anto. Don't leave my boy Anto. Oh, Anto. Gonna go down to the zone. No confirmation coming through. Rousey trying to get that revenge. He's got the AUG out. All getting play again. These care pack weapons sometimes going to be the ultimate difference. But can Rousey make the best of the position here? He's got four, five, six members of Team Six there in front. He's going to toss out the Uto. He's going to spot out Intel as he gets the line of shots on Intel. Rousey going to knock him down. Twitch over the top looking to confirm Armin is going to get the spray back. Twitch should be able to look up to get this kill. He does. Rousey will fall. The res four Intel should still be in play. Armin is falling now. Luca able to look down on this as well. Team 4 with great vision on the Team 6 as they try to walk into the zone here. It is going to be Team 4 with an absolute farm of kills right now. They find 3 there out of the rotating Team 6 who looks so strong so far. But this team just set up in a beautiful spot. Luka going to get taken down by Jimbo. Third party action happening over there as the knock comes through. Projects to pull back potentially to get this res. And it looks like he's behind the ridge enough so Luka will get picked up there. As Team 4, just down to three players left up here. Another kill going to get taken away as the zone does the rest of the damage right there. Rousey, credit for intel right there as Rousey will eventually, or uh, actually has bled out already there for this team. Looking to get these reses inside the zone right there. Phase 3 damage going to come through. Is it in time? Arminus is going to die out right there. I love the attempt there. They try to do it. Intel is down as well. Sniper going to stick the res here onto Twitch and this team Somehow able to get the res. Is it in time? Yes. There for the res. 20 seconds to get the heal off before the phase 4 damage comes through. And it looks like this team will get a chance to reset at least with a few players in. Now the rotation to come through. There's a truck. They should be good. Pixler inside. And team 6 losing 4 players to an unlucky rotation. Gate kept here by team 4. That right there is going to be a momentum shift here for the game right there. This team was looking strong. They had a great first game. Game number 2. Just not able to find a secure rotation. Mark called it earlier. The rotation path for these teams. So you set up for the gatekeep. And that's a GG's.
Team 5 and Team 7 earlier didn't even want to fight with one another. You see how different they are as if these teams were neck and neck here on the top of this hill. Now you can see on the, the west side, Team 5, on the east side, Team 7 with um, Team 3 to their north, 8. The Donut Squad in central control of this zone, hoping for the shift to pull back their way. But we've got two members left up here for Team 4, looking to survive, finding a few more placement points for the team. After Slady gets picked up there, it's going to be Slady, or excuse me, it's going to be Projects and Luca to potentially make uh, their rotation in. And yo, Mark, I will check the DMs here after um, comp and be sure to respond, bro. Appreciate it. And yo, dude, enjoy the beers. Drink one for me. Have some, uh, you know, have a pint for me, bro. I think that's what you guys call it out there. And uh, honestly, bro, I could definitely use uh, a good night out. So enjoy the Friday. Mark, thanks for tuning in, bro. Everything's been fantastic having you here, dude. Hope all is well for you and the stream, bro. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you back hopefully next time, dude. Everybody, thank you all for being here as well. I appreciate everybody just lurking in the chat, hanging out as we watch these teams here. Big team battle it out to be the best. Buy it. Thanks for the follow. Shots come out. Project's going to take some damage. Luke's going to find some shots here on the Venez, but the shot's just too good from Team 5. They're able to do a good amount of damage here on both players. They're both going to pull back at least to get the heal off here. Project's to get the heal off. And there's Luca. Beautiful shot. Going to find the knock there. And Sniper will fall right there as well, doing the damage upon himself as that's Team 6 losing another two players there. Potentially, as I believe they're actually sticking the res there instantly onto um, Twitch right there. So, yeah, it's going to be Team 6 with three players left up. Right outside the zone, they have to come out of the house. This next rotation, not going to be entirely the best there. As we look back here, we can see Coops and Trolla here holding angles. They're looking in this direction here, potentially thinking to find this. Luca going to fall right there. Good shots from Jimbo. Project's just left alive here for Team 4 as he will get the reds onto Luca potentially for that blue zone. Makes its way to Team 4. I think he's going to stick it. They should get the reds. The heel comes through. And still two members here to deal with three members of Team 5. Coops and Trollo with angles on this as well. Project's going to peek out. Two get the knock. Shots come through. Jimbo and Ben Ems put out team four in six. The first team out here in game number two. As again, that was a long run right there. Trying to find these teams here in these next few zones. Phase four. Two turn to phase five here in the next 30 seconds here. As we can see, that team get kept out. The fight now potentially looking to be team six there on the edge of the zone. But it's team three now in central north side position here to gain control here. Uh, with a lot of ridge, a lot of hills, angles should be definitely in play here for this team. You've got to be very, very careful as to where you're looking and as to where these things, uh, these fights take place. You get one angle at another direction. You need to make sure a teammate has either the left or right flank. You know, as they're coming over here, you can see this team really, really sticking together here. Same with Team 5. They're really, really grouped up here. And that's the only way that you're going to win fights in these BTB battles. Because the minute that you get one knock from another angle, you have information for another player. And that easily could take you away. Team 7 down here at another angle. They're actually slowly but surely creeping up on Team 8. As we can see, Clumsy going to get taken down there right in the middle of the fight. Loopy to follow right there. Good shots from Tony and Javum. Now trying to pull back here. Just an unlucky pull up here. Not even aware that Team 7, the Molly, to catch Deliciosa. She's on fire. She's going to find her way back inside. At least to get the heal. Natty already down right there. As Delicio said to come back here to potentially find this res. More utility to get thrown right there. Great grenade from Viper. That one's going to knock down Dell. Dell going to fall right there. Team 8 just not making the potential to hold this position. Unlucky. And it's Team 7 just running all over them right now. The utils, the push, the shots, the teamwork is great from Team 7 right now. This is five kills in the bag for them. As you look for the final two members there of Team 8. BHE Netty still bleeding out down there at the bottom. As Tony confirms that right there. The remaining two members looking to find their way away. Silent, Silent Savage looking to do some damage here onto Viper. Not going to find these knocks. That's OMG Hacker finding Pigeon. Dynamic finding Howard. Shots traded out here in the back. We're actually going to pop over to that. A little bit more enticing than watching these two players trying to find their way for survival. Good shots come through. Trollo to take some damage. Jimbo's already fallen right there. Good shots from the Spree. We've seen him go off in the last game. Looks like he's going to do the same again. Kent to deny that one there. Two players not on the same position. As it's right, he's still looked up. Sticking the reds here onto Spree first. Then we'll pull back to get Nakamon, who smokes in play here to make sure no um, potential pickup for those kills. The flush going to be denied, at least for the time being, as Kenty with the rat looking to find these players slipping right there. Coop's going to get taken down by Hacker. Savage taken down by seven. It's one member left up there for Team 8. Does he make his way in as the res comes through on Nakamanu? Team 3 able to secure both those res. It's dynamic. Takes one more member of Team 5 down here. Ben M's down to fall. It's looking grim for Team 5. They had the right push. They take down a few members of Team 3. But now falling apart. Entel's over the top. Looking to do some damage. Trying to find Quantum. Dynamic has just fallen to a great spray from Pixel from the back. And over the top.
comes Quantum. Ed Tells is going to fall right there for Team 5. Team uh, three teams now remain inside the big team battle event here as we look for team three to potentially set up with their reses. Team six hangs on after a rough rotation. Three players still up with seven kills in the bag. Well played here from team seven. Keezy with one, Pixel with four, Twitch with one, and this team right now fragging out here with Pixel leading the charge. Nine kills on the board here for team three. The ultimately stacked squad right here that I've been looking at with the purge leading the charge here. This is Spree. Looking to IGL this team to the victory. Nine kills and seven players still left up. It is easy enough that this team could win this game. The numbers are in their favor. We've seen that work for uh, Team 4 last game. Uh, but that being said, you see Team 7, they've also got six players left up. So, again, numbers are in their favor. Oh, good trade out there. Bolty for Bolty. Zemo almost finds the knock there, but instantly gets traded out as the shot comes back. Zemo's going to get the heal off there in time as he will regroup. Stay tight up with Team 7. The knock when it came through. I don't think the flush was going to be instant. Team 7 pushed out of the zone. Team 3 take control there of the north end side of the zone. And Team 6 not even having to move a muscle, a muscle excuse me, as they get circle control there with that circle shift. Love to see it. Shots coming out here over the side as it looks like Bamsey holding it down here with Dynamic to keep angles on to Team 6. The spray from Bamsey to find a potential knock on Team 6 is not going to come through. I like the open-up spray. Not, not enough teams that are kind of do a blind spray like that. You almost catch somebody off guard when you do like that. Especially when they think, like I said, you already know they're there. Good read from Bamsey to kind of take that spray. Um, and potentially look for an opening knock here on a Team 6. But Team 6 sitting quiet. They're not going to move forward towards this next zone. Look at that zone control these teams. We'll just kind of keep this popped up right here. to kind of watch these shots being popped back and forth here. Circle control here. They'll sit here on the edge of the zone. If Team 7 smart, they should make their way here up and around this kind of direction of the circle to flank around Team 3, potentially to get this information. They're zipped on the flank. J-Bum going to make his way this direction. It looks like Team 6 is actually going to take the fight here with Team 3 first. Pixel are going to get knocked right there. They need to get that res right there. That is the fragger for the team right now. They need him up if they want to win this game. Just the two members, Keezy and Twitch, not going to knock you guys or count you guys out. But again, Numbers, numbers, numbers. They win these end games here, especially in the big team battles. Twitch now to follow. Shots coming through from multiple members of Team 3. As they do damage very, very quickly, Twitch is going to have to pull himself back down. Gets the heal off as the res for Pixel comes through from Keezy. Love to see it getting set up here. These teams need to potentially just take this a little bit slower. Let Team 7 do the work there. As again, that knock comes through. Team 7 wants to take the fight here with Keezy and Pixel first. Before looking um, to take the fight there with Team 3. Team 3 just going to let it happen. Again, they're in circle. They have control. They have high ridge. And if they can keep that going for them right now, this is a game they could easily walk away with the chicken dinner. But all these teams, 7, 8, and 9 kills here for the remainder of these three top teams. As Spree going to find a good knock, that's going to be Aaron Mate to fall right. Or no, excuse me. Aaron Mate to find a knock onto Spree right there. Dyslexia kicking in a little bit right there. Um, as it looks like Spree is inside the smoke. He's going to go for potentially the res here from Bamsey, and that's going to come through. Team 3 sets up for the repeat right there as the care package is going to drop right here. This should be quite a bit of loot right here. As you can see, an A-dub in play right there. A little bit more action coming out from the care packages. This is when you're going to start to see them really come into play. Um, if the teams can make their way there, that's fresh 3 gear. That's A-dubs. That's AUGs. That's Grozas. And again, I like to see the amount of care pack weapons inside these circles. Keeps the games that much more entertaining. Tony there on the bottom. He's got a Groza looking to find the knockdown of Pixel. Pixel is picked up there from Keezy. As uh, Team 6 gets a chance to play still with three players left up going into Phase 7. One minute till that pop does come through. And again, thank you for the lurks. Thank you for all the follows out there as we have a little bit of a dull moment here. You guys are absolute ice cold legends for being here. Hitting that follow button, hitting that lurk button, and really just tuning in when you guys have the chance. Appreciate you all being here. Who do we got rooting for in the chat, guys? We got Team 6 with Keezy, Twitch, Pixel. We got Team 7 with Zebo, Aaron, Viper, Javem, Te Utsta, and Townie. Along with Zip hiding out there on the flank. Or do you guys take Purge? The Purge regroup here with Nakamanu, Spree, Vamsi, Hacker, Righty, and Quantum. The odds are in nobody's favor as that circle is going to push everybody out for the Phase 7. Everybody just going to kind of lick the edge of the zone here, waiting for the Phase 8 to pop, hoping that it gives them the potential chance to gatekeep one of the remainder of these teams here out of the zone and get themselves a few more kills um, in this late game here. Team 6 with just three players up have the hardest battle ahead of them. 
having to potentially wait for these teams to fight out. And if not, we'll have to just potentially scab a few knocks, get some kills, and hope that they're left alone here in the process. They've already got some kills, so it's not a quiet game. They're hoping to potentially put a few, few, put a few more up on the board as the care package is starting to come in heavy. This is going to be the opportunity for these teams to start putting care packages in play and really start to shine. The, the A-Dub going to come through. The Groza is in play. Uh, I believe we've seen another MK-14 up there for Quantum. As that's in the hand right there. Right, he's going to find a bolty shot. Not even with the crate weapon. As he knocks down Viper right there. Team 7 sets up for the Reds almost instantaneously. Is now the push from Team 3 to potentially take control of the center of the zone is now in play. Slowly but surely, teams are starting to make their way there. Quantum playing it up tight, looking for a potential knock here onto uh, whatever flanking member in. This is going to be Soul right here. So, again, respectful play coming out from Soul. Whoever the information here inside the smokes kind of denies the information for him to just sneak up right there. That's going to be Viper getting the res there from Tommy. They're able to reset, and they'll push up here potentially behind Zoll. And if they get that, honestly, I think that's going to be a key position to keep this team where they want them. But definitely keep your head down. Don't get knocked. Keep the numbers, as we've been saying, in your favor because the numbers in the big team battle are definitely the best way to go here. Good nades coming out there trying to find the potential push to come out from three, but it's not going to happen. Shots come through to delay. Team six is push up the hill. Nade in play. This is just the stun. It's going to bounce up. Nobody really connected with that one. It's still shots coming out from the top and bottom. Who gets the first knock? Who gets the pressure? Who has to worry about making the move here with the knock in play? Do you go on... Do you get knocked on the back? Do you? There's so much to happen right here. This is going to be absolutely insane. Why is there so many people up inside phase number eight here? Right, we're just going to kind of hold it here. Zebo to find the knock. There's the A dub. Zebo, beautiful shots here. Let's see what else he's got. Can he find the follow up here? So we actually look, Townie's a little bit closer. He's got Purge right in his face right here. He's got Quantum lined up. He's going to hit the heady. That three helm just saved Quantum's life right there. Good shots from Townie with the three helm. Just stronger right now. Now the name from Aaron Man is going to find the final knock on the Quantum right there. Putting the pressure here for Righty Advancy to potentially get this res. He's there for the res right away. Zemo going to find another knock. This time it's Pixel. Second knock for Pixel. Not really going to be get picked up for Team 6. As it looks like that's going to be a GG's for him. Bamsi to potentially get the res here on the bottom inside the smoke. It's ready to hold the door. Finds the knock on the zip. That's allowing the chance here for Quantum to get picked up here from Bamsi. It's ready. He's inside the smoke. He's going to get the heal off. Pressure from the side. This is going to be all members of Purge here. As you got Twitch from the bottom just trying to keep an eye on this. Viper finds the knock there on the spree. Spree down. Nakamoto to get the res here. He's going to delay that. Puts the smoke down. Res comes through as we have now. It looks like a very intense fight between these two teams. Keys are going to go down to the zone right there. Twitch is the last member left alive there for Team 6. Stake the points out. Wait for these teams to fight and potentially put some kills. Viper going off here. He's got one, two down. Confirms righty. Still bleeding out over there as he is going to potentially get knocked right there. Viper is still up. Smokes it out. Tony and Tay Usta are going to confirm those kills are on a Bamsi and Ruddy. And Squantum is still bleeding out here. Here's Spree after getting the pickup here. Looks to find Tony. Dynamic with a good spray. Tony to find now a Nakamoto. And Nak just coming through all over the place. Left and right. Spree to potentially find this damage here. Is he going to get the help here? Three members right in front of Viper's face. And Spree will come out. Viper to find one. Looking to find another. Confirming that one. To switch off the transfer. Just not able to find another Nak. Viper. Doing bits for the team right here. The work comes through, but Team 3 ultimately comes on top as they finish out Team 7 here. Good shots from Dynamic and Hacker. Yet again, Hacker inside the top 5. He's going to look to win this 2v1 with Twitch. Man, and we didn't think that they were going to be able to do it. Numbers were in their favor. 14 kills in the bag for Team 3. This is just 8 kills here for Team 6, they were able to just find one out of that final fight right there. Not a whole lot of scabs to come through as they are going to spot him out. It's a 2v1 situation. Switch to line him up, but Dynamic with the follow-up spray to trade him back out. The shot's just better coming out from that AK as Twitch loses the 1v1 right there. 15 kills, and the winner, winner, chicken dinner goes to Purge. Hello? Purge? We're going to call you guys Purge with Spree as the captain right there. Well picked from Spree as game number 2 goes to them that is going to be another our only match actually on uh miramar there as we enter into game three this time around 
it's going to be Vikendi, baby, back inside the zone here. We're looking for just that, a little bit of Vikendi. We're looking for a little bit of Vikendi. It's been a while since we've seen it in regular rotation. Now to get it back into customs here, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's make it happen here. Let us absolutely make that happen on Vikendi. Give you guys that quality content. Give you guys a little bit of something different because we play Marangale. Marangale. We play Miramar and Aringale all day. We never really get a chance to play comp on Vikendi. So it's going to be a different, different scene here. A very, very different scene. So we're going to create that. Bring it down to eSports. Bring it out to Vikendi. Hello. No, oh, they didn't update it. So it's going to have to be default. Everybody, I do apologize uh, as we get Vikendi in here. Make sure you guys get into the regular lobby and we get that set up for you guys. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Nothing we're going to be able to do. We're going to change that to FPP. And you know what? I will at least try to make the best happen for you guys here. Adjusting some of the settings. It's still on eSports. Uh, mode eSports settings, but it's just not going to be as effective. So we'll switch that, uh, put this back to public, and then we'll see you guys here in a little bit. Great game right there for game number two. No fist fight for the win, but hey, it's it's action, it's it's intensity. We'll put that. Uh, I need not one, but eight. As we save that there, we are good to go. Back on the NA over to EU. There it is. As we get Bikendi here, let us uh, actually tweak a lot of these settings here to make sure again things are a little bit different first to start off with is going to be the blue zone uh we are just going to wait 200 seconds again bringing that down a little bit cutting that phase out a little bit phase two cut that down to 90 as well and these ones are all a lot slower here these are all at normally 60 so phase three i'll leave it 90 we're going to put these back down to 60. No, 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 no. I want you zero. Now I'm going to switch you to 60. You to 60 as well. And then phase seven, phase eight. I think they do a little bit longer here. So we're going to change this to actually 45. And phase eight to 45. Oh, man. All right, that'll be zero. All right, that is 45. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Delay, we're actually only gonna wait 60 seconds for that as well. And then we'll switch it right back there as we get back into this care package. We're again gonna turn up the frequency. We're gonna do a three times on that. Um, additional flare packs, our circle, um, phase one, self, -care, self zone. Okay, no, that's good. We're not gonna mess with that. Um, gameplay, I don't need any of this. As we go back to the spawns, let me make sure everything's up here. Ammunition, let's turn that up. Make sure you guys got plenty of ammo. Got this being the regular, I don't, this is just so, so under, under stock. So we're going to turn that up to two. We'll go back over, turn the weapon spawns. We'll turn the snipers up. Everything's going to go up. Make sure, again, you guys have certain guns. This is only at, I think, 1.8. When we do the esports settings, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to leave that at about 1.8. Assault rifles go up to about 2.25, I believe. So we're going to switch that up over to to make sure you guys have whatever ARs you want. And DMRs I'm going to put up as well. Um, but we're going to get this above too to make sure everybody has their AR that they'd like. All right, we'll leave that 2.3. Onto the DMRs, we'll put them at about 2 for the spawn rate. Looking good there. Hunting rifles. Okay, not really going to do that. LMGs. Nobody's really worried about LMGs. SMGs. You know, for you SMG users out here, I'm not going to buff it. I'm not going to turn it up extremely enough, especially with the MP5 being on this map. We'll give you guys a 1.5 here. Um, attachments. Yes, let's turn those up. I would like to see some scopes out here. It's for candy. We need some long range scopes. Hey, trying to guys have you guys red dot all this. And we will turn those up to the, almost to the max there. Get you guys a chance to get those magazine attachments. We're going to turn these up to about 2.0 as well. Get everything situated there. Yo, Larry, what's happening, bro? Dank, what's happening as well, brother? Hope you guys all out there are doing well. Appreciate you guys in the chat lurking. All right, there we go. 
equipment. We're going to turn off the backpacks. Try to keep it even with the esports loot here for you guys here. Uh, so, again, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get this one set up, but we're almost there. Put those at about two. I want to make sure everyone's got loot. Helmets. We'll put those up. These aren't actually up as high, so I'm actually giving you guys a little bit more here, more loot this time around here. Again, with everybody being so widespread across the map, you're not even going to every little place, so I think this will help you guys out right here. Put that at two as well, and this will be the last thing right here, and then we'll move on to uh, starting the game here. All you guys looking out there in the chat, appreciate you guys. Much love. You guys are the absolute goats for being here. All right, we'll confirm that. We're going to save this, save those settings. That's all set to go. Everybody's inside the lobby, and we're going to close it out there. Bada bing, bada boom. And good luck, everybody, here for game number three. This time it's going to be on Vikendi. We adjusted those settings. We've got everything in place. Now you just got to show up and bring the heat. Let's see. All right, big facts. Got to work on, work on this, uh, this whole hair situation here. Two besties inside that top end game right there. Dank, yeah, that was an insane way to finish it. It could have easily went another direction, but again, yeah, that's a, that's a squad right there. That's a duo that we, we don't ultimately mess with, right? We knew that they could have had that. They could have potentially did that uh, just like that. Purge, they play together so well. They play so much together. You know, it's, that's a team right there that you can count on a duo like that to put up huge points. So Purge, that's a nice 15-point game there for you guys here. A high kill game there. Uh, I think our highest kill game so far. Um, so we'll have to see if somebody matches that up there. If Purge can again see themselves here inside those last few teams. They've done a fantastic job here scoring inside the competition thus far. Look at that. We've seen teams like that. They could easily be one of the first teams out here too. So we'll see what happens. Live screen coming back for you guys here. As uh, I take a little bit of an intermission, I'll be back um, here in just a few.
All right, everybody, and we are back for game number three. Look at the map we got here. The candy, baby. We are back in the action here. The circle is going to pop right off the bat. They're wasted in no time. And you love to see it. The circle is there. Teams have an opportunity to decide where they want to go. And where these teams land will be huge. Team six up there all by themselves. Team three, team four. In the middle right there, Cement Factory. What a loot spot. That's a great spot to loot right there as a team. I like that. That's a, a huge spot. Easy to control. You have angles. You have all types of information. And you know what? I like that drop spot coming out from Team 4. Another great drop spot here, Vol Nova. And I think, honestly, this is probably the best map for BTB. You look at the uh, the size of the map, the the places in this map, excuse me, that you can drop as a team, honestly, is, is fantastic. This right now is, is honestly what you need, right? I mean... Your own loot spot, everything else in Arangale and uh, Miramar, I think, is like there's some big spots, but only a few. Not enough for enough uh, for all these big teams to find their own spot. But Candy, however, perfect for these teams. Team 8 and Team 5 a little bit closer to one another, but we shouldn't see this fight happen all too soon. But again, I only gave everybody so many minutes, excuse me, to find themselves loot and to get into that next phase. All right, we're looking back here. Right, this is going to be a slow start, everybody. No bueno. No, no to the bueno. And like I said, I did everything I can to try to make sure this stuff does not happen, but you know what? It, it just kind of does. Um, if we're still slow here in the next few minutes, uh, what I got to do, I have to go get my daughter off the bus here in a little bit, so I'll leave you guys on a player. We'll spectate uh, somebody. If you guys got somebody you want me to spectate in particular, throw it up in the chat, and then we'll kind of watch somebody go off here for a little bit. I'm going to grab my daughter off the bus, and we'll, we'll be back here. And then we will be back. But right now, hoping we can get some sort of action, something happening here. And there it is. It's going to be Team 5 potentially looking to find Silent. It's Silent, I don't even know if he's got guns or anything. I think he just made his way away from position here. No, he does. He's got to put away. Okay, he's just running here trying to regroup with the rest of Team 8. Look over on to Team Force position here, getting the loot six times for the SLR. I see a barrel on SLR. I see everybody. This is the sweat. It's sweat time. Rousey with the crossbow out. There we go. That's exactly what I want to see. Let's go, Rousey. Get these crossbow shots out here. The barrel and the crossbow. This is content. This is absolute amazing right here. If I could see a kill happen from Rousey in this damn crossbow, man, this would be absolute content. We're going to be watching this guy, looking for this in the kill feed, seeing if we can see some sort of uh, crossbow action. And uh, it's in play. It'd be huge. Would definitely be huge. Kiyomi, thanks for the follow. Hyatt, thanks for the follow. Appreciate all you guys being here. Team 7 now on the pull-up. They're going to leave a Vol Nova here. Not sure why. It's actually a great spot for them probably to be inside the zone along with Team 8. Team 8 going to take over the castle. Look at the update. The update is beautiful. If you guys have not had a chance to see it, this isn't one of the better lighting settings. Bikendi has a different lighting setting where you can really see all the decorations and all the lights here. Uh, but again, it's just a nice little update. A nice, just It's just nice to see, right? Nice to see some changes here, even though it's the same, similar stuff. We've got all the decorations. It's a lot more hardcover, uh, so you're kind of watching people be cheeky and angles here. But again, with all the holiday decorations inside Castle, check out the Castle. Check out Dino Land. Um, it, it's a nice update. Much like the Halloween one, instead of doing Airgale this time around, they do Vikendi, and you just respect it. Um, I like to see when, when PUBG does this, they keep the community engaged. Um, they, they really just you know cater to some of the players here, rather than just worrying about the bottom line, which is top dollar. This is a situation, it gives life back to the community, it gives interest, it gives people, you know, a reason to pop back in, check out Castle, check out certain places. And again, if you haven't had a chance to look at it out or check out uh, how this new update looks on Vikendi, this is a spot you definitely want to check out to see kind of what's happening there. I don't think they've done anything fantastic in Vol Nova. No, not at all, but uh, also over in Dino Land, again, where you can see Team 5 landing. Huge updates, snowman. There's all types of little green dinosaurs. You can see these these red little guys here. Again, what 
Absolutely love it. Look at this. You just gotta love it. Little guys like this all over the park. As well as little guys like this, you know, next to the dinosaurs here. They still didn't take down a lot of the old dino. The old dino is still here, but they added all these cool little creatures looking all over, fishing, you know, out over here. This other little guy just kind of hanging out. There's some really cool stuff here. You know, again, just something for you guys to check out as we're kind of waiting for these teams to figure their footing out and find some sort of momentum here. Not a whole lot actually happening here. Again, also, I mean, little gift shops here. The Bistro. Nice little update here inside Dino Land. The lights. Even the carousel gets the update here for the Friends Holiday. Gotta love it here as it's happening inside of a candy. All the little different characters inside the carousel as well. I, I honestly, this is my favorite one. Just this guy's face. Hilarious. Hilarious. A little bit of a candy update there for you guys. Again, also with the new updates here as a chance to, uh, for a point to talk. If you guys haven't seen, let's see if I can actually find somebody with the right uh, mag here to show. There it is. Here's Ark. This is Silent Savage. He's got the barrel in hand, but if you just seen it, it had 42 bullets in it. That right there has to do with the new update. That new update adds extended mag with two more bullets in most mags, aside from some SMGs. Some SMGs are added more. There's the SLR with the extended mag, 22 bullets, rather than your 20 bullets. As, uh, again, you can just side, kind of see the extended mag getting a little bit more beneficial to just run an extended mag rather than an extended quick draw. Extended quick draw has the quick reload. It has the extended bullets, but it's just 20. The extended mag now has, you know, an additional few bullets if you use the extended mag over the extended quick draw. And then the quick draw, in return, if you use that over the extended quick draw and the, the extended mag, the quick draw has a faster reload time, both than the extended quick draw and the extended mag regular. So again, just benefits for you guys to look out in the tournament. You'll start to see some teams run with just a quick draw. You'll see other teams run with that extended mag only. Uh, maybe not having the fastest reload time, but what they will get out of that is uh, the extra few bullets. Some extra few bullets in a few situations could easily save a player's life. We know that achievement for the last bullet hit inside of uh, the medals earned. You know, with that last bullet, that right there is a huge game changer. The amount of people that have those medals there to hit that last bullet. Those extra two bullets absolutely um, going to be in those teams' favors here. As we watch Team 8 just kind of pop shots back and forth with Team 4. Keep that in mind that we'll be seeing a switch out between the extended mag, the quick draw, and the extended quick draw. So again, that just being the new meta here, I really think the extended mag is going to take its play here with those extra few bullets making a huge difference for a lot of players, myself included, as I've been in a situation you know, already here in the two days I've been playing uh, the little bit of casuals I've had time for. I've, I've honestly managed to find kills with those last two bullets, saving my life, saving a partner's life. Um, again, with just those two bullets being, uh, I think, something to actually count for. The quick mag, I'm honestly, I like the quick reload, but if, I, if, if I'm going to get the kill, I'm going to get it with my first clip. If I have to reload, I'm probably honestly going to go down, and that's just, you know, personal experience, I think, for me, rather than anything else. But some people like that quick reload. They'd rather get the quick reload time and go back into the fight where me, I'd rather just finish the fight upon my first clip if I whiff. Hey, GG's, man. Fight's definitely yours to take there. I should have hit my shots, at, you know, in the start, right? The quick draw, you know, but again, some players, you know, like to go and pop a few shots, pull back, reload, and then start to take that same fight. So, again, it's all about your play style, and the play style I think that works better for me is using the extended mag. Good as we're looking, there is... Uh Team 4 set it up. They're getting a great spot right here inside that next zone. Team 3 as well positioned beautifully. TR inside of Old Nova. It's looking like it's coming back their direction more and more here in this case. This shot's now getting taken down from Team 7 over onto Team 4. Team 8 onto Team 4. Um, if Team 4 is not careful, even though they're in the center part of the zone, they've got three different squads all starting to surround this team here. As I said, they will pull up here to the compound here. They're starting to rotate. Luca going to stop there at the tree back inside the vehicle. He's going to continue his rotation there to take this compound. As you can see, Spree starting to do a little bit of scouting. He's getting some information. He hears the vehicle's rotating, potentially thinking, hey, maybe I got one or two kills here. I can scab up, get a knock here, ruffle some feathers, and then move forward. He's got the smoke in play, making sure, again, no information is in his direction. Uh, just, just has to be very, very careful moving forward because the rest of Team 4 starting to follow Luca's position. It looks like they all could easily regroup up here, but a very widespread zone here, yet again, from Team 4. A 
Playing over the top. Where's the care pack going to drop this time? There's still no care pack to fall. That's going to be team four. They're looking in this direction. There's the care pack. It's going to be coming down. And um, that one right there could at least open up the door here, potentially getting this team that much more points. Again, care pack's in play here. What do we got in store as the plane flies its way out? Our care pack is Groza, three gear. And we even got the ghillie suit. It's Tony, I think, running right for that one for team seven. We've seen how that worked out there for team eight earlier on, just sending one or two people uh, towards the care package. Did not fare well. Dill, again, going to do the same thing. I think he's reading that care package as well. He's going to look in that direction. And him and Tony are going to run into this thing almost at the same time. Tony going to get the sound cues, so he's actually going to know that Dill's here. Dill's actually going to stop. I think he spotted Tony out right there. No, switching to the barrel right there just to make sure his weapon's out. Does not want to get caught with his pants down. Tony getting the sound cue. He's going to spot out Dill right here, and this is not good for Dill right here. Six times on the MP5. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tony, what are you doing, man? There's that MP5 in play, and he is going to find them shots right there. Dill will fall. He's going to gain control of the care pack, the loot, and unlucky there for Dill. Great read. Gets the first care package in uh, that second game right there. But this time around, it's just not in his cards. Dill will fall. Tony picks that one up and gains control of the care pack. GG's there to Dill. And that's now looking to make this move forward here. Does Team 7 uh, take that care package? Yeezy. PUBG is love, man. Always, man. Always. PUBG is always going to be a special part, I think, for all of us. Yeah. It is what it is at this point. PUBG has literally been in everybody's... Um, Xbox for years on years on years. Quantum surrounded by so many different members of Team 4. Good team shots come out. Projects is going to fall. Luke going to find Richie. Quantum now traded down as Anto over the top. One HP barely surviving right there. Somehow hangs on the top. Rousey now going to fall right there as Anto gets the heal off. He's sticking the res now on the Projects. Potentially to pull back again. Rousey. Slady has already dropped as well. And this is Team 3 from the top. Luca, the angle that he has. Oh my god, what is he doing over there at the top? Beautiful play here. He's got this team in shambles here. But it's team three. Good opening knocks there. Two find two players not on for team four. But at least there's one member left up to try and stick those reses. The res is potentially still to come through right there. No confirmation from team three to get their flushes. As Projects is back up. Rousey is about to be back up. Slady back up. And even though three knocks came through, three reses in play for team four. They're going to reset as the full team here. Wait to go for sticking those reses there no pressure actually coming from team three that was a lot of long distance knocks and again the pressure just not almost or just not always the best idea hacker now to get the knock on a luca luca stuck out there by himself that's not going to be a great spot for him to be in and as we pull back still six teams remaining going into phase number three here not a whole lot to happen we've got 45 players still alive here as it looks like Crisco going to pull up. He's going to make the res here to get on to Luca. Team help coming as well. Anto, the medic. Res after res after res. That's now three reses for Anto. Pab. Somebody buy the man a pizza. This man is out here picking this team up left and right. He plays, and that's a team player right there. Anto, Pat, big shots out to you, my man. All right, we're going to watch this fight kind of break out. Guys, give me one sec. I'll be right back. We're going to watch. We're, we're going to give Anto, the medic, some love here. Fight's breaking out. Let me actually get over here. Let me see righty and dynamic. You know, we got this fight breaking out. Another six times on the M5. He's going to line it up right there. Gets the knock. All right, we are back. As he gets that knock there, beautiful knock comes through from righty. Again, looking for Keezy here to find these knocks. The nade now in play to confirm that. Had that been a molly, that was right on top of Keezy. Keezy to fall. Credit that for righty. His pixel still bleeding out there for Team 6. You've got Dank and FSS trying to get some sort of information out of the position here to potentially get Team 3 down and off the rock right there. As we look at this uh, rotating Team, Team 6, they're making their way here up to take the fight here. Um, in, across the, trail, the railroad tracks here. It looks like this is definitely the fight that they need to take first. As you can see, Team 4 getting involved on the bottom. If they can pressure this right, Project is going to help. Steals out Pixel right there. So that's one now for Team 4. But if they're not careful, there comes their Team 4 in the back. They're all focused on to Team 6 right here. So this is Project's walk right in the back. He's going to find Righty. A little bit of help coming out there from Slady as they're looking at Team 5. The third-party shot's coming in. 
but the Nox is just not there. So Team 5 gets credit for their kill. Able to pull back off the fight. Is now dynamic and Spree looking on that direction. Hacker looking towards the other direction. And this is Rousey going to find a knock. Now Spree's going to fall right here. Rousey potentially looking to get the 1v1 with dynamic. But dynamic there to get the trade. Nakamanu as well. And that's one member not on for Team 4. Molly to delay the push right there. And they're going to stick the res here on the Spree. Smoke now in place, still being tossed. Anto almost to find that Molly there to the head, but will pull his way back behind the tree. As it looks like Team 5 is getting involved here. Project Slady and Crisco looking in this direction. Find the knock there on to Ben Ebbs. But Crisco here leading the charge. Has so many members there for Team 5 to worry about. He's going to find some good shots there down on the Tempe. Not able to control that barrel spray. The first few shots look good, but the not the rest is just not to follow right there. Takes the bolt out. Trying to find that knock there on the Tempe. Tempe behind the tree is going to pull back as Crisco gets a reload on his barrel. Looking to put the spray back down. Good shots to line up, but it's J-Ben to a stew or chaos stew whatever the heck that dude's name is to get the knock luca confirms and that's one in the bag there for team four at least able to get credit for their kill doing most of the damage but team seven almost steals that away just can't get the flush team five inside the compound there's products there from the back that's gonna be spree to get confirmed right there or is he just finally take it down no spree to get confirmed the second knock does come through as vamps he gets the res immediately here onto Spree. This is going to be Team 3 potentially looking to take another victory here, but the pressure is on between both Team 4 as well as Team 6. But Team 6 backs off. Team 4 still to take the pressure. Project's going to spot out dynamic. The shots come through. The knock to follow. And now we have Spree after getting the head up heel. He's going to take the 1v1 here. Potentially get the back up here. Spree, yep, is going to line him up right there. But it's Bamsi and Nakamanu there to get the knock right there. Bamsi, good shots come through. Spree will get knocked for a third time. Do they pick this man up yet again? That's the third knock Spree has picked up. Dynamic getting picked up. Where's the rest of Team 4 to take this fight? Where is the rest of Team 4 to take this fight? This is all them all day right here. This should have easily been them to take the rest of this away from Team 3. But it's now Team 3 getting another chance to reset. Team 4 getting that same chance to res on the Anto. And actually, that's, what's, that's what delayed the push right there. They had two knocks come through over here as they uh, try to focus their attention. The knocks just on the third party. Team 5 doing absolute work here on this team. Hacker finds one. He's going to find Crystal. The transfer over on the slate does not come through from the spree. Hacker to find one more member left up for Team 4 as Luca to fall. Hacker gets credit for that one. The Anto is still left up as he's bleeding out. Crisco to fall right there in the back as well. And it's just one member left up. It's Spencer for Team 4. Damsey comes up in the edge of the zone right there to find the final member of Team 4. And that's now again Team 3 finding some more kills in game three walking all over this map and they are in control of the edge of the zone right there there's team five taking the fight here with team six who's on two different fronts as you can see some of the teams splits across the way right there finding position inside the zone the remaining two members of the team still to hold back here potentially to find this team rotating as well great call here from whoever's igl and right now to keep two back here potentially to get these knocks here onto team five as they rotate coops the team captain for Team 5 is going to fall right there, but I think still resible, but nobody out there to make those moves yet. As you can see, all players for Team 5 still inside. Coop's going to call it out. No, I'm not safe for res. Will fall, and that is now Team 5 losing one member there. Team 7 still with all eight players left up. Three kills on the board for this team right now. And as, it's, <clears throat> as the circle shifts down here to Phase 5, we can now see... Team 7 inside Bold Nova getting great control of the circle after a great drop to Reed. It's Team 6 to join them inside Bold Nova, and they'll have to be careful coexisting here because more and more teams will start to come through. Phase 5, literally just a lot of Bold Nova and then some water right there. There is, remember, not ice on this side, so it's all unplayable on that south end. Look at all this water still in play. That can't finish over there, so we know Bold Nova definitely the place to be here with these big teams to potentially find some homes here. There's a lot of retail, a lot of places to be, uh, but again, it's still not that big of a town here where these teams won't have to fight very, very soon. Team 8 does pull up here on the edge of Vol Nova, but they've got Team 6 there to fight. Four members left up for the team. As you can see, Majin and Dank still forgotten about over there are going to make their way slowly but surely into this zone away from this team. Had they been a full 6, could have easily been a better fight to take here with Team 8. Is That's Kizza finding his way up here. He's in the building with Skullstimer. Here's the footsteps over the top. He's playing it very, very quietly. Can Kizza get this knock? Gem to come up to potentially put some help right here. As no, through the window, it's going to get spotted out right there. Gem to fall right there. Kizza potentially to hop back out to get this res. That's at the edge of the zone right there. Sniper waiting to potentially get this next knock right there. It looks like that's not going to come through. Sniper still to follow there. As it looks like the rest of Team 8 still to come in. It looks like this potentially could happen. There it is from the back here. It is going to be 
clumsy getting the heal out there. Kids gonna find Skull Sniper there at the top. Good knock comes through. Jeb should now be able to get picked up as Dell will come through to confirm that kill right there. Team 8 finally finding their momentum here. Good shots come from Kizza as well as Dell. The res for Gem is good, and that's Team 8 finding one kill. Still two players ahead of them to deal with. It's Intel and Arminus. The pressure is inevitable from this team. Intel at the top of the stairs is going to beat Dell. And a little bit of Nady Rocks right there. Good shots come through the team right now, moving methodically through Volnova. They're going to take control of this position right now. Is it just Arminus left up over here? As you can see, Intel was taken down. Twitch still up. Dank falls as well. And this is just Team 6 trying to survive here in whatever place that they can. Arminus does find a knock there on Adele. Adele going to fall with the flush as well. As Adele still bleeds out. Arminus on the top of the roof here to potentially find another knock. And a few more points here for his team. He's got to get out right here. This is an absolute rat play coming out from FSS. But you know what? It's going to work. This is big team battles. And you know what? Anything counts. Snake is out here. There's Silent Savage to come on top of the roof there. Trying to see how this man got up there. As Arminus is going to find his way to the top of their shots come through. Arminus pulls back. And he is going to find his way away from there. Over here on another front. Let's actually pull back. Pixel is going to crash right there. And oh man, that's unlucky. No wonder why he goes down there. Dynamic to find this knock right there. From Viper. Viper able to find the knock in trade there from Spree. And this is now two players done on each side. Dynamic to be left there inside phase six. Viper confirmed there, and this is now team three as three members make their way in the zone to follow there on the zone. Team seven has to day keep this. Come off that angle. You've got to come off the angle. There's Zebo again with the six times on his MP5 again. The meta is in play. He's going to find a good knock there coming out from Zebo. It's one member left up there for team three. It's Vamsi. He's inside the zone. He's safe for now. He will play it out. Play quiet. Clumsy finds a knock there. Is she going to get down? Armin has finally taken out FSS. There's one member left up. It's Odin Twitch coexisting with Team 8 right here. Inside the building right there. Playing it quiet. He's not going to make no moves just yet. As Clumsy is able to get the heal off right here. Should be able to get that. MP5's in play all over the map right now. You love to see it. That's Vikendi for you, baby. Silent Savage is going to get taken down there by Kursky. Looking to confirm that kill. Shoots to the window. Kizza with the VSS. Come on, give me them, give me them VSS shots, Kizza. Give me that VSS shots. You got to spot this man up there at the top. It's Kursky. He's going to see Tony. How do you not see Tony? There he's going to see him right there. Shots come through with the VSS. Tony with the MK14. Who's going to get this knock here? Nobody just yet. You can see Gem and Silent Savage there on the back end of the building there. As you get back over to Tony. There's Twitch to come alive. He's going to find Nady. Oh, unlucky there. The rat play comes out and Bamsi's still alive as well. He's going to take some blue damage, trying to find his way into the zone. But he's going to run right into JBM. And there it is, JBM Teusta. 69, baby. Going to get that kill right there. And that is it. Down and out in fourth. And Bamsi falls for team number three. Clumsy taken down. Man, Twitch, what are you doing to these guys out here? Twitch to find another. Confirms that as well. Kizza to finally come through to put down the reign of terror of Twitch. And that's going to be JM Teusta. Kizza. Is going to fall right there. One member left up for Team 8. The silent killer, Colev. Inside the building, does he find his way out? Aaron to hold the angle at the edge of the window. And there he will fall right there. Team 8 out in a second as the zone does what it can to keep him gate pinned. He's going to find his way out the window into the spray of about five members of Team 7. Well played there for Team 8. They find a few kills. That's Clumsy with one. Kizza with two. Dell with one as well. That's four kills in a second place for them. As we see, first place given to our team number seven. Six kills for JBM Teusta. VE Merc with two. Kursky with one. Zebo with one. Soul with two. And Aaron with two as well. Well played for team one. That's a high kill game for them. Able to put some points finally on the board here as they find the momentum, the teamwork. It all comes through. And right now, we can now call it a day for Vikendi. Would love to see a round two. If you guys like to see Vikendi, you guys like what you see. Let us know. Maybe we'll get it back here in rotation. Maybe we'll do a tourney of all of the Kendis. How would you like to see that? That would, would be some crazy action. If we honestly got all the Kendis out here, give us a Bikendi, 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 Bikendi. Four shots of Bikendi just to lay it out there. How you guys feeling about four of Bikendis? Maybe we can run that for a special event. Come next week to celebrate Bikendi coming back. You guys feel like a four Bikendi event could potentially do it? Let's do it. I'm all for it. Get it together with me. We'll contact. It was like when Tego came out. Everybody was excited for Tego. Now everybody's excited for this other, um, th this Pikendi to come back. This new update. You, you took it out of the roster for a little bit. You bring it back. And again, it, it kind of brings that excitement level back for these players here. So we're back to Aaron Gale. Back to the esports mode. No adjustments need to be made. We're going to put it up. We're just going to turn those care pack levels up to, again, increase the frequency of those. 
But otherwise, we're all good, baby. Back for game number four here again on Erangale. As here we go, getting into it here. Yet again, our six teams look to find a victory again on Erangale. Going to be very, very exciting to watch here. Again, these teams are most comfortable playing on this map. So you see everybody kind of come alive and do, I think, what they're best at here on Erangale. Um, that being said, again, no real adjustments. Let us actually change this to... 200 again. Mm, that's 90, 60, 60, 60, 60, down to 10 for the phase. And that's it. We're at least going to leave that there. We didn't even make it to the phase for that final phase there of Vikendi. Everybody's so excited to play right there. That was just one intense match. Love to see it there. Great game on Vikendi. Great to see Vikendi back in rotation. I hope you guys are just as happy to see Vikendi here on a comp scene. You know, because again, it's a different content. We see Vyermar, we see Erenge all day. This is different content right here. Um, phase three, yeah, we'll keep that at 60, keep that at 60, delay, uh, we changed this only to 60, I only want to wait a minute, we're going to actually make it 70, so players have actually all had a chance to jump out of the plane there, uh, we'll make that delay to happen, as, uh, again, that's kind of awesome right there, red zone, obviously not going to happen, gameplay, nope, spawns, let us get to that care pack, frequency, turn it up to three, and we are going to confirm this, save that out right there, and that is decent, and you know what? ATK, I'm not sure, isn't JBM Kiyomi? It, it could it could easily be Kiyomi. I don't know half these players all stand, man. They come in here, they sign up. Unless I get a message directly from the player, it's hard for me to tell. Uh, but yeah, undoubtedly, uh, Kiyomi is in the mixture. So if you don't see Kiyomi, yeah, that's that's probably his name, man. Definitely probably his name. Kiyomi always out here laser and doing his things, but doesn't want credit for the doesn't want credit today. Just like we got Majin Buu out here. You know, a couple different players bringing back some old school. Um, anime names there we're at 46 players here what is going on here who are we missing 1 4 team 4 and 1 4 team 6 here we'll give it a couple more seconds here before we start that up uh, allowing these teams here a little bit more of a chance to get their two players in because again we've had a full lobby the entire time uh let's keep that stuff running let's keep it running Checking a few chats um, to everybody. Let me message the general chat. Make sure we're good. How we looking? Uh, there's one. Okay. Switch that to EU. Team 6. Who we missing? bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 and uh, it looks like we are actually golden, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, team six, we're not doing it. We're not coming through. What are we doing? Um, who is team six's captain? Into. Give him one more second before we start this chat up. Again, what a crazy end game there. As we've seen all these teams kind of fighting back and forth there. Team 8 makes their way into that final building. What a crazy end circle to get in Vol Nova. Out of all the circles we could have had there for Vikendi, I think that was one of the most exciting circles. So, again, we will give him some more time. Intel says the 8th is coming, so we're going to give him a few more seconds and uh, get him back into the lobby here. We're just waiting on one more person here uh, before that does happen. Up again, a great game there coming through as Team 8. Again, put some points there on the board. They find a fantastic roundabout. But again, Odin Twitch just from behind comes through and just takes this team down. Had he not been there, could have been a completely different story for Team 8. But again, uh, he makes his way and he really he really puts the thorn in their side right there. Still with 47. Where is our final player? We're just waiting and waiting and waiting here. Um, so we'll have to see. Couple more minutes, Intel. How, how, uh, I'm gonna wait about another minute here, man. And one more minute, and I'm starting, brother. No offense to you, but I can't have everybody waiting here. Everybody else is already in the lobby here. Um, unless, like I said, there's a real good reason. We need to get this stuff going, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Let's do it. There it is, Keezy. Hold me up again, bro. What's the matter with you? Just kidding. 
Just kidding, just kidding. All right, KZ is finally in the lobby here, so we are good. And now we can start, close it out, lock the password, and let's get it started. The last match of the night is in play right now as we get started here back on Erangel, baby. I'm going to take five, grab my pizza, grab my little something to drink, and then we'll be back here for the action in store here. It's been quite a uh, journey here today. Appreciate all you guys in the chat hanging out. Everybody just kind of coming through and, uh, you know, sitting inside the chat, whether it be with the lurk, whether you guys are chatting. Hey, always appreciate it. And uh, Intel, yep, cool, 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 cool. Thanks, I'm glad he made it here on time. I did not want to start without him, but again, I can only hold for so long here with everybody else already in the lobby. I try to be as fair as I can. And there we are, back for game number four here on Erangel. I'm going to clip to a little bit of an intermission screen, and then we'll come back here. We should have game four already starting and in play for you guys. Uh, but again, i got to take my little intermission. i got to get my drink going. i got to get, got to get my stuff going, and then we'll be back for the action game. Number four underway here as uh, it, this time around, again, we're back on Erangel to finish off the day. All right, everybody, and here we are back for the fourth and final game of the night. It's Friday. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday night so far. Thanks for hanging out with us here on the Cold Crew Exclusives channel. 
we appreciate all you guys bringing in your views, bringing in the conversation, and just keeping us chugging. Again, it is 4.30 here. It's uh, about 10.30 there over for you guys. If it is, you know, middle of the day for you guys, be sure to be safe. Going out later, if you guys are already out having a good time, be safe. You know, have a drink or two for me. There's more to life than just PUBG. We've had our fair share of PUBG this week. We've had our fair share of PUBG today. Uh, get out and have yourself a little bit of entertainment. Drop in some Twitch chat. Say hello. Be social. You know, don't be afraid to get out there and get involved here. Appreciate everybody who's been here. If you guys seen that cold crew hype there in the chat, appreciate it. Your daily fix of PUBG Entertainment over the channel for your choice to win, or your chance, your choice, your chance to win free merch put together by a Perky and Feisty. With your own custom logo, all you got to do is follow me here on Twitch. Follow me here on Instagram. I'll put the socials for you guys there. And this way you guys can follow on Twitter. Anybody who follows on Twitter and Twitch, not so worried about the Instagram, but follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And if you follow me on both of those platforms here over the next few weeks, I'll be doing a giveaway. You'll get the information. Tune in for the stream. And uh, there will be potential for you to win custom merch with your logo, with my logo, as well as, uh, you know, a, again, a chance to kind of participate in a community event, giving back much like this eight-man event where uh, we'll have situations happen where, excuse me, that's my alarm to make sure my daughter is gone and out the door. She is. Everything's good. Uh, but we'll have giveaways here to give back to the community. Just, to, again, to say thank you to you guys who, who who have been supporting. Thank you, all of you who've really tuned in. You know, every time that you guys have a chance, when you see the channel come live, you click on the notifications you're here in the chat. You support it. Um, I want to give back to you know those of you guys who have really helped me get from 45 followers all the way up to almost 700 followers. Thank you guys so much for the 700 follows. I'm really, really working hard to do this giveaway for you. I'm working some extra hours, getting some extra cash together, trying to pull it all together here so I can afford to do this giveaway for you guys. And the minute that I can do the giveaway for you guys, it's going to be there. So thank you all so much for the support, the love, the chat. Um, thanks for, you know, just making me feel like I'm the best host at times here. Again, I'm not, I mean, you know me, I'm not one to say I'm the best host. I really think I'm great at hosting. I've, I've had a lot of improvements, but I'm not one to say that I'm the best. So when you guys um, hype me up and, you know, talk me up in the chat, it, it does miles for my mental health, man. It does miles, you know, just, just for me in general as a person. I really appreciate when you guys stop in the chat and you guys say all that stuff, you know, best caster, best this. You know, even just tell me, hey, great cast today. Thanks for the cast. Appreciate you doing it, man. It goes a long way. Some people could care less about it, man. Me, I'd honestly rather have that happen than me get paid. I, I would love to get paid one day to host and make money hosting and do all that kind of stuff. But you know what? The fact that you guys just appreciate what I do um, it honestly says much more, I think, for me than somebody saying, hey, you know, here's 50 bucks. Uh, thanks for hosting. But again, I, hey, you want to give me 50 bucks for hosting, bro? Send it my way. I'm not going to complain. But also, you know, let it, let it be known, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate the thanks. I appreciate you guys just um, just saying thanks, just tuning in, just hitting that follow button, letting your friends know, hey, check out CC. He's not a bad guy. You know, give him a follow on Twitch, you know, tune in when you can. And, you know, I really appreciate any time you guys do click that uh, link right there. Clumsy, take it, pressure, Pritchy trying to get the knock there. Amber, you're going to get away. She does, barely gets away. There's still shots coming out, and she's just trying to get the Dacia safe. She's going to have to stop, hops out of the vehicle there, still at least able to make it safe. As you can see, Bamsey on the, the charge right there. At least it allows Clumsy to get to position there where she's going to be safe to heal for now. Nady there to provide some sort of support cover, at least giving her the chance to get back. As you can see, all of Team 8 now looking out of Bamsey's position. This is the second time, um, if not the third time, we've seen Bamsey out on a flank position like this playing for his team, trying to potentially get this angle, get the attention his direction, and maybe um, let Team 3 potentially farm some kills here onto uh, the rest of Team 8. Good information being sent out there from Bamsey. Um, we'll have to see if it does play out in their favor or if these teams decide to rotate and take the position out of there. Clumsy there with Nat should potentially get inside that vehicle and just rotate out as I believe we hear the bike started up. That's got to be Bamsey? Is that Bamsey? Yeah, Bamsey. That is Bamsey on the bike there. Do pick it up. Now back on the bike here and he's going to rotate his position potentially away from this hill. You can see, look at this spread from team three right now man you've got two players still inside of Primorce, one on the hill over there the rest of team three spread out right here and you know what this is a team um i would not want to mess with and contest with their drop spot purge this is where they drop almost every time knocks coming through shots coming through from all types of angles there's hacker to find the second one it's first deliciosa now gem is he's got the bolty just knocking shots here from the side 
the angles from this team, the views, I can't believe they're honestly using them and doing them the way that they're doing them. Dynamic will confirm a gem right there. No, not gem. After the sub, the last giraffe. Come spam some more giraffes in my chat, gem. Give me the lurk. Give me the lurk. You know, and that's unlucky for gem. Kolev still trying to get the rest here as Dell is trying to climb her way to the back. Nades come through from Richie trying to confirm it's just not in the right place. So Dell will still get to live. Another grenade going to get tossed right there. Bouncing in that general direction. Again, not confirmed. Kiza finding his way down and around. Kolev is going to find the knock on a quantum. Vamps needed to hold the angle as well. Can't even get the trade out there. What a beautiful amount of shots right there coming out from Kolev. At least to get that knock on the quantum. He's going to toss him out of there trying to confirm that kill. Dell still being out on the back as Richie to find the grenade here. Just shy of Kolev's window. Now the Molly right there. Who delayed the push there from Purge right there as he will get a chance to potentially get this res on the Deliciosa. All of Team 3 coming back here into Pomorsk right now. Starting to surround this area. Quantum still not picked up. Bamsi there for the res as Richie just holds the angle. Another util inside. That one's just going to stun. Kolev holds the push. Loopy will get the res there onto Deliciosa in time. And they're just going to lose out one here in the process. Unfortunately, it is Gem. Doing my top gifter like that, man. That's not okay. Gem, 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 gem. Luna now taken down as well after getting the res on Adele. She secures the res, pulls off, tries to make it a security, and she gets taken down. Gem, we're compromised. Our whole team is compromised here. Everything is getting compromised, compromised, compromised. Refuse to compromise. I thought that was the agreement here earlier. Not happening. Here comes Purge looking to take out Team 8 early on. Richie with the pressure right here. He's going to find two members of Team 8 inside the building. Dell actually on the back inside. The smoke cola inside could easily find Richie here. Dell's just kind of coexisting. Dell be a snake. Oh, I thought Dell was going to get Richie right there. Richie able to at least find Delicioso. There's cola inside the corner. It's found by Nakamanu. Right, he's going to find Nady Rocks and Team 8. Just getting deleted here. Clumsy trying to make her way away from the position there. Kizza just inside of Primorsk trying to exist. Leave me alone. I'm not here. Running his way back here to potentially help out Clumsy. Clumsy now getting taken down there. That's so many members of Purge just surrounding. She's going to get dropped there. That's righty with the knock there. Spree and Dynamic looking to confirm this kill. And Team 8 just, what are you going to do here? Again, you drop in Purge's spot. You expect to take the fight. This is a team that is not going to let you walk out of this event without taking the fight to them inside their drop spot. Where the hell is Silent Savage? This man, <laughs> still alive for the team somehow. Savage makes it out. Quantum gets three members of Purge there to deal with. And Kizza is going to go down. Really nothing he's going to be able to do right there. But Silent Savage for Team 8. Absolute snaking it away from Pomorsk. Seven kills in the bag there for Purge. But it's Silent Savage in the buggy. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Ooh, ooh, he gone. Silent Savage on the move, baby. Let's go. Team 6, or excuse me, Team 8 getting a chance to survive there as that comes through. Um, nobody gonna see this care package drop in here. Who wants this? What do we got here? I don't even think anybody's getting to it, honestly. MK14, the suppressor and the three gear. Larry, sorry, no giveaway yet. Well, I haven't done the tab for the giveaway yet. It is exactly what it says there, the cold crew hype. Here, here let, me, let me post it for you, man. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, I'm lucky. I don't have my command set up, Larry. Leave me alone, man. I'm not Nacho. I'm not as, not as uh, you know, technologically inclined here. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. You hate to see it. Uh, but it, what it says up there up top, man, that, that cold crew giveaway is exactly what it says there. Um, just make sure you drop in for your daily fix of PUBG. Follow the Twitch. Follow the Twitter. Um, and then be sure to just check in on the Twitch and the Twitter for when the giveaway will go live. I'll put the giveaway notification in here after the stream just for you, Larry. Promise, my man. Promise. Again, it's my first one that I'm actually doing as a giveaway. I never really thought that I'd get to 700 subs, dude. So it never was a thought like that I'd have to make a command like that. So, you know, we're going to make the command. We're going to get it put in play here. And thank you again all for the 700 follows. Thank you for the support along the legend, along the way, you absolute legends. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I really do. We're watching Keezy here. Keezy trying to deliver some content here. He's there with the SLR on the left-hand side of Team 6. Team 6 was still all full players left up. It's only one team to fall right now. And we look at TR and the rest of Team 4 here inside of um, Gekka here. They're going to control that position for now. You've got one member for Team 4. This is going to be Rousey holding the compound just shy of their position. And that is a very hard crash if you're going to crash onto Gekka right now. Avoid any angles and all rotations in that direction. 
because again that is not going to give you any sort of benefits right there hard rotation they're in control here of this phase right now you can see team six has good control of this compound as well and not something that i'd like to pull up on is gaka and this compound to the north of gaka are the most in play here All right, Larry, I finally had a chance to get it all typed up, put it in there for you. That right there is the giveaway hype right there. So as um, Larry put the exclamation point giveaway, that right there should, will be the message eventually to be displayed. Uh, so again, Larry, thanks for getting involved, man. Thanks for trying to put that giveaway out there, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, and again, if you guys are interested, you guys want more information to that, be, be sure to DM me, be sure to whatever, man. I respond to most of them when I have the chance here. They're not going to be right off the bat there as I do get quite a few messages, but... I will respond to you guys when I get the chance right there. So be sure to kind of keep that in mind. I appreciate everybody who is involved here. I want to give you guys a chance. It's going to be tumblers. It's going to be custom merch. You know, all kinds of merch there. I haven't decided 100% what I'm doing. That's why I don't really know what is to come. But again, that being said, there, there's still so much more for you guys to win here. And I don't want anybody, you know, as far as uh, viewers to miss out on that. Yo, there's my girl, Gem, back with the giraffes. Put my giraffes in chat there. Spam them out there. Lurk, lurk, lurk. We're going to start it up new here. We got a command coming out for Gem as well. And it's going to be the giraffe lurk right there because you know what? We're bringing giraffes into this. We're just waiting for these teams. There's the circle. It's going to shift. Gaka still set it up beautifully. This is still in play. I love to see it. RMB at the top. Um, this Ben M's with the rest of Team 5. And that's Purge down here at the bottom. That's Kenty with the remainder of his team over there. Their, our actual Purge team coming down from the south there after winning the seven kills earlier on here in the day. They're going to make their way here towards Tony's position um, and potentially have to have Tony get the heck out of here. Not a position I'd want to be in when you hear cars rotating your direction. Hopefully not caught out here. He's going to stop behind the tree. He's spotted out Hacker, who stopped in the middle of the field. Take the tires off first, man. Take them tires off first. He's looking to find Hacker. If Hacker gets back in the vehicle, he's going to easily just send it away here. And Dell, I really thought you were going to have that. Like, I honestly thought that you were going to have that fight and you were going to come out and Richie was going to have the best PUBG report of the night. That was so close. That was so close. I was rooting for you guys, teammate. I was rooting for you guys. I wanted you guys to come out on top, but that's Purge's house, baby. They're going to stop them grounds like no other. They would not like to lose that fight, and if they did, um, I could definitely see some rivalry building between these teams and these players had uh, teammate came out on top, but teammate falls short. Deliciosa, excellent attempt. Teammate, excellent attempt. Kizza, good knock. Kolev, good knock on the Quantum, but, you know, that's a team right there who absolutely frags out. We know that that's going to be a sweat team right there, so it was a nice attempt from teammate, but it's ultimately... Um, team three, who is our purge gang, who comes out on top. Seven kills, so looking to find their way in. Tony makes his way away from position here, and you know what? You were definitely compromised there. You were definitely compromised. There is nothing you can do um, in that position. You just got to take it, right? I, I, you refuse to compromise, but I guess in some situations here, um, you're compromised. That's it. It's game over. That's all you're getting. We're going to call it a day right there. Gem, much love, girl. Appreciate the gifted subs today. Thanks for tuning in to the event. Thanks for signing up. You know, last minute, whether or not be for everybody to sign up. All you guys who signed up last minute, all you guys in the chat, yo, thanks again. We're not going to say thanks enough here. Coming off, this is the giving season. And, you know, we're going to give back here. Eventually, hopefully, I'm in a position where I can give back as much as you guys have given me as far as the mental health. Hey, man, I'm not a rich man, but, you know, if I got money, it's coming back here to Twitch. It's coming back here to the people who have been supporting me, and it's coming back to, um, you know, the people that deserve it here. And, Grizz, I would have loved to see you in here, man. Grizz, would have been nice to see you in here, brother, in for the, you know, the community event. I hope work was all right, man. Thanks for at least stopping into the chat, man. Grizz, hope you're doing well out there, man.
Rotation's coming out. There's Keezy coming out on the extension. He's got 30 pitches above him. He's got to be careful because Ben Ems is right behind him. He hears the shots coming through, looking to potentially peek up. He should find Pigeon lacking here. Pigeon not even aware that Keezy's here. Keezy going to open up. Good spray. Hits the first two shots. Did a few to follow. That M4 damage just not enough. He's going to pull back down the hill. Dirty Pigeon going to get the heel off there as he has to worry about the pressure now coming out from Ben Enz, Howa, and the rest of Team 5 starting to pull up on the hill, giving Keys the opportunity to pull back. He will find his way here back into this next uh, compound with the rest of Team 6, and that's going to be probably their play for right now as the circle is going to shift one more time, keeping that Phase 4 phase uh, starting to close out right now. But again, they're in position to kind of hold this out. As you can see, Team 5 on two different fronts. Here on the right-hand side and then on the north-hand side of their compound. Trying to get all types of angles onto this position. Dank going to fall right there. Coop's going to find Intel. And then Coop's taken down from a distance. That's third party. Dill going to find the knock there. Confirms that as well. As you can see, Intel and Dank both getting shot out there from the top. This is great angles coming out from Team 5. As Team 6 has the hard cover, but it's the ultimate spam and spray. Excuse me, the spread of uh, Team 5 here to do the bits right there. Good shots coming out from Team 5 as Keith will fall right there. Jimbo confirms that one. If there's three members now down for Team Six, Skullstabber, Arminus, looking to potentially do something like this. And Jim, this is your first time in Attorney. Love it, dude. Thanks for turning up. Don't get discouraged. Hope you had a great time right here. Come on back. Don't let these sweats deter you. It's all about having a good time, and I at least hope you did that. Shots coming out, knocked coming through all over the place. Trolling gonna find his way inside the door. The nade is tossed. I think it's right there. Oh, Sniper barely gets his way away from there. Thankfully, getting off of that grenade right there. Oh, and there it is. Sniper get found up. Coops finds Intel. That one is confirmed. Sniper walked up on by both Troll and Kenty. And this is Team 6 just getting ran up on, man. It is absolutely insane. Arminus, the last member up here for his team. Kenty with the 1v1. Howa inside the window. He's going to get the 1v1 with Arminus. Arminus should have had that one. But Howa inside the window drops him down. G to the G's for Team 6. How now inside this circle, as you can see, Fabsy over here at the other end of the circle. Team 4 in and the most fantastic part of the circle. And there we are. And you know what? You know, Gem, I've seen so many players inside of a tournament like this get a donut. Yeah, it really does come down to just luck. Do you see someone? Do you get shot out of the vehicle every time? Does it, do you get a 1v4 every situation? You try to peek and just shoot one player. Um, it, it, honestly, it, it's just, uh, it, it, it comes down to luck of the draw here of the team here. A little bit more of a balanced teams, I think, this time around here. So it didn't really come to like overly stacked teams aside from uh, Purge here. So we'll have to see. And hey, you guys got a donut out there. I eat donuts every freaking day, man. Don't even worry about it. Be out here to have a good time. Did you have a good time with your team? That is what is important. Don't sweat out every game of PUBG. Come through. Have a good time. Laugh. Get some laughs in here. Don't get so sweaty and don't let it, you know, don't let it get yourself uh your, your panties in a bundle. Come here, have a good time. This is this is supposed to be a fun event, everybody. This is not the sweat event. This is not, you know, one of the one-day paids. This is a draft event to get communities together, to get us all on one page here to realize that, you know what? We all play the same game. We all go to bed, closing our eyes. We all wake up, breathing the same air. Live it, man. Live a good life here. Put the hate somewhere else on a plate and throw that shit out, man. We need none of that here. Hope everybody out there, again, can bring that good vibes to the chat. Good to the vibes. Here you can see Team 5. Nice little rotation here coming out from Team 7 as they might crash on the Team 5. Now they're going to play that position there in the field with four teams remaining here in our big team battle. We've lost two. Um, and I believe our solo man, who we were looking for the win, uh, trying to snake his way in for Team 8. He gets caught out, man. No way he makes it in. And unfortunate for Savage, he was taken out. How we're going to find some good knocks. That's Quantum. Going to go down another care package in the middle of the field right here. That's going to put some pressure on for these teams to go for that care pack. Do they make the move to actually stop to get the care pack, or is it going to be a game over? Shots coming through from the back. Uh, team 7, third party all over. Everybody has their own part uh, in the zone to kind of coexist for right now. As you see, everybody is comfortable where they're at. This is only phase 5, phase 6. Going to be a little bit more uncomfortable, hopefully shifting a lot of these hardcover compounds now out of play. As you can see, Team 7 really in a bad position. If they get some circle love, could potentially be uh, their game. But without the circle love right here, Gatka so centered up right here. Uh, team 4 just in the position to take this game home. Hack with a good knock. That's going to find Troll. 
looking to push his way up. There's Richie. They got the zone on their back. They're in the edge of the zone right here. This little bit of bowl they can play from for now. But as the knocks do come through, here comes the tosses right now. Smokes in play. Ben M to be taken down. J Ben Teutsta. Man, I don't even, seriously, somebody DM me what the, what the heck that means. I'm out here saying this stuff like I know what the heck it means. And I don't. I'm going to call him Usta. Usta, Mr. Usta over there. He's going to get picked up there. Safe res for Team 7. They picked that one up, getting their member back up onto his feet right there. As we look for Team 3 to do the same. Richie Ship getting picked up after the knock comes through from Team Number 5. We're looking at Ben Ems here. Still to take that pressure as he's looking his way. He's going to find his way back around that tractor right there. All four members there. Uh, if you include Pigeon, the rest of Team 5 still here inside the compound. Now has to come out that Phase 6 has shipped. You can see down there at the bottom right, Gak is still in. Every team actually still in. But if I was honestly having to worry, it is Team 3 Purge with the biggest fight of their life here to take. They either need to take the position away from Team 5 or take the position away from Team 4. Either way, decide the fight that you want to take because uh, you have nowhere really to run into the zone. Your utilities have to be getting scarce at this point. As you can see, everybody's starting to toss utils to the next direction here. Love to see the fact that everybody has enough utility to at least make it to the next position. But right now, Team 5 in the position to gatekeep Team T Team 3. Excuse me, team 3 actually on the retreat. They're taking the other direction. They're going to pull back and potentially take this fight towards Team 4. But Rousey already here to greet this team. Looking to find the grid. He's looking at Team 5. All of Team 3 is running right past Rousey here. All of Team 3 is running right past this man. But there's Dill. Great grenade. He's going to find an opening knock. Finds ready. Behind the tree, the util is coming in from Team 3. The mound to be thrown. Still not going to do no damage. Dill finds another knock with the mound. He does find Quantum. Team 3 getting deleted by Dill. Dill with three knocks. Dynamic now going to fall into Antopat from the back spray right there. And this team is just doing bitch onto Purge. Purge is really nowhere to go right there. Richie tries to find his way. He gets credit for Dill right there. But it's just two members left out for Purge. Three, excuse me. As no, there is one more to get taken down the zone. Going to do the rest of that damage. Richie now to fall to Team 7. Merc going to get that knock as traded out. Kenty will find that one. Still no points put on the bird, but now Kenty still bleeding out. Can they get the confirmation? No, he's in the two stack. Should be safe for Reds. It's going to be Hacker and Dampsey here still up. Spree as well. Three players left up here inside the blue trying to take this damage. As Hacker will fall to the zone right there. Spree going to fall. And then Dampsey as well. Projects and Spencer credit for those kills as Team 4 picks up a few more before Team 4 or Team 3 falls out in a fourth. Three teams now remain as we have Team 5 here getting the res here onto end cells. That's going to be Jetsy, bro. Back up onto the feet there. Good shots come through. As we will pull back onto this right here. We can see Kirsty going to get picked up there for Team 7. Team 7 sticking the res this year. They're able to get cover once the knock comes through. So respectable plays coming out from Team 7. We've got seven players left up with Zemo on the side here. What is going on? What is absolutely going on here? How many kills we got? Just one, right? Just one here for Team 7. So very, very quiet game for Team 7. But our top team has been taken down there. That was uh, Team 3 for the Purge Gang. And you know what? Slady here with the barrel. He's going to take that spray out. You know, and he's going to look to potentially get his way out of Gaka. After so much circle love for Team 4, that is a hard shift right there. That, again... Is not going to be much like Team 3 just had to have that hard shift. They had to find position inside the zone. Every team took a shot at him, and that's exactly what is going to happen. Mine, 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 mine. Hey, do you, anybody got sixes? Anybody got sevens? Oh, I need fives. And everybody says, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody says, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a lot of comms in one party. No doubt, Gem. Care pack dropping right here. Three care packs. Remember, this is the final few phases. The care pack's going to be flying in, baby. We've got a Groza in one. Where's the rest of these care packs? They're already on the ground. They are on the ground right here. Three care packs here in the middle. Who's getting control of these? This is going to be the game changer right here. Groza again. And then for number three, Aug. Two Grozas and an Aug right here in the middle. Me, me, me. I need this. I need extended mag. Anybody need this six times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Comps, 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 comps. I need comps, guys. Stop talking. And man, it's crazy. I just, yeah, that's the hardest part, I think, honestly, is the eight-man comms there. Uh, it's hard to do call-outs here when you got 18 other people talking about a call-out here and a call-out there. And you get shot on the side. You're like, well, I was going to tell you, but this person was talking. And, then, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. That's how we're going to get taken down here. More players can take it down in the mix. Entel is still bleeding out, but the res is coming through. No, no, it's not. He's going to get knocked. How are you going to confirm right there? Anto Pep to get, to get taken down as well. And this is four members left up here for Team 4. Making the way in. Projects is inside the zone. He's got the shack to play for now. As Kenny will fall for the second time. Good shots come through from Project Slady. Now to take the 1v1. He's going to confirm that kill. No Project's going to for that one. 
I believe he still has Hollow there on the backside playing the Ridge for right now. 30 seconds till we see phase eight and the last phase of the day here. Antopab still bleeding out right there. He's actually on the back right there. Good pickup here for Team 4. Do they secure the rest? Crisco actually going to drop him down right there. No time for the rest right there. He's going to pull back right there. Former teammates happy to leave him there inside the blue. As Spencer will fall to Mark right there. Team 4 with just two members left up. Three if you know three with projects right there. No, Crisco now going to fall right there. He's back down to two. Slade now taking down as well. Just one member left up. Oh my god. Project's still up inside the zone. It's just him. He's got 10 kills for the team. This team doing bits this time around but they need to find the final few kills here they have a full man of seven they're gonna find merc 1v1 right there projects he's running for that kill and now he's gonna get the 1v1 here with Aaron. he's gonna drop that one down as well projects baby let's go 11 kills to make it to 12 with he gets this final flush there viper still on the push right there as the stun comes through the grenade to follow right there viper having to be careful for the pressure projects get the heal off man before the pressure does come through great shots from projects man well played he's gonna hold this pressure right now have the team been a little bit more effective this could have been a different game, but he's got two members out on. He's got the grenade in hand to confirm that. Ooh, the grenade coming from Viper's going to find him there. That's it for Projects. Team four out in a third. Beautiful grenades. Beautiful util. Is Aaron still taken down? He should be getting picked up there. His Projects won't get part of that. That's 11 kills in a third place for Team four. Dill and your squad right there. Excellent final game right there. But however, it is going to be BE. And that's the rest of Team 7. Not BE, but Team 7 here to potentially take this game home. There's three members left up after you found those two members to get knocked there from projects. This takes the party back in the direction of team um, five here with a 3v3 now in hand. They're all on the same rock. The positioning right now is not great, but they're going to have to look for these different angles here. All three players on one rock. This is not something that I'm comfortable playing. You've got two players on one tree right there, if I'm not mistaken. Literally just holding each other's pockets right now. First getting zip soul, not moving. Soul's gonna peek out. He's gonna find the first knock. He gets pigeon. Now looking to find Jimbo. Jimbo gonna find him. Then he's gonna fall to the zone right there. No confirmation. It's Kursky walking his way up there. Ben M's gonna have to come off the rock. Jimbo comes off the rock. Tony on the pressure. Aaron with the pressure as well. Tony should be able to find the final member there as he gets the knock on a Ben M's. Jimbo denies to the zone right there. Team five out in a second as we have team seven for the victory and a 10 kill point or 10 kill game there. Well played from team seven for the final game. Excellent push here from Tony to secure that dub. And again, good knock there from Zipped to find the initial knock on to um, Pigeon right there to allow this team to make their way in to secure that victory. Well played there from our winning team there, Team 7, 10 kills, and the victory. In second, there is going to be Team number 5, Team 4 in third. Well played for the final game of the night. What an exciting event, man. That was something different. That was something exciting. Um, again, not what we're used to seeing here inside of the SSL, but again, it's a little something different. So, guys, thank you all for tuning in. That was the SSL's eight-man drafts put together by Zebo, hosted by CC himself. And you know what? It's been fantastic being able to you know put this event on for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the entertainment and uh, you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you guys want to run something like this, again, be sure to let me know. If you guys also want to run the four Vikendi maps, let me know. Again, I want to try to get those Vikendi maps started up. If that's something you guys want to do, it's something we can easily put together. Um, you know, Whether it be a one-day event, four Vikendi matches, um, let us know as the community events that you guys are looking to participate in that keep you interested in the game. Playing the same stuff every week. Again, you know, we like certain events. We like one-days. We like leagues. But we are looking for other custom events there to keep you guys interested, to kind of keep the, the uh, um, you know, kind of the interest of PUBG just there. You know, everybody plays PUBG so much, you really need to just keep yourself um, entertained, you know. And again, doing things like this, I really hope you guys had a great time. I had a great time hosting it, great time watching it. It was nice to see different levels of play, different angles, different teams, different players, you know, with those teams. And again, I really think this is great for the community to come together as a whole. So you know what? Hoping to do more and more stuff like this as the weeks progress. Give us your info, give us your intake, and you know, let us know how you're feeling on these events again so we can kind of put that into play um, and not just do what we want to do as event coordinators, but again, involving the community to get you guys and what you want brought back here. So again, it's been my pleasure um, as the host at CC. I know Zebo loves putting on these events. I know SSL loves to get this stuff together for you guys. So we're going to get that CGS. We're going to get all that stuff working out. Be sure to check the SSL Discord um, for the final results. As again, we don't really have a leaderboard with Vikendi being in there. So we're going to have to actually switch it over to get a custom leaderboard done out by us with CGS and that. So work with us. We'll get the totals posted. Look in the SSL Discord, and we will get ourselves into that next chat. 
Hope everybody, again, had a great time. To all the team captains, to all the signups there, thank you guys so much for tuning in, my six captains out there. Um, it's, it's awesome for you guys to get involved and want to take part in an event like this and not have fear um, to pick teams out like that. So big shout out to Spree, Dill, Coops, Intels, Viper, and Luna. I really appreciate all you guys, you know, signing up, picking our eight teams, being there for the captain chat, and actually being on time. Um, you guys make the events so much more worth it. And every time we continue to do this, uh, again, we'll do it. Payments right now uh, to be uh, to be dispersed is going to be first place, 80 quid, $10 for each player, or 10 quid for each player. Second place will be 40 quid, $5 for each player. So again, that is how the breakdown for the players go. If you are one of the eight players you're looking for your, play out, your payout, be sure to either DM me or DM uh, Zebo as one of us will get you guys the payment and get you guys taken care of um, once this is uh, um, kind of brought out there. There is a CGS up. Uh, let me copy the link. I'm actually going to post it here for you guys. And, you know, there is the CGS for you guys. Um, if you guys need the leaderboard for the night. And be sure to check that out to see who is going to be in first. Um, again, GG's everybody out there. Well played. Fantastic event. I had a fantastic time, um, you know, hosting this for you guys. Again, I hope you guys had a fantastic time playing. It honestly has been really, really great today. So thank you all for tuning in. This has been Cold Crew exclusive yet again here on the channel this time around. Uh, we're doing the SSL, hoping to be back. Guys, give some support. Tune in tomorrow. PCL, I'll be hosting me and your boy Chunks. We'll both be sitting over here on a PCL channel, giving you guys that explosive content for your EU teams. Come support your team. Come support your host. Show CC some love. Show your team some love. Show Chunks some love, man. Give us all some love. We're trying to grow you out. The more love, the more love we get on that Supreme. I know it's the PCL. I know some people are against supporting the PCL. But the more love we get on that stream, the more love I can bring back to the EU community. So please, 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 please get yourselves in that PCL community. Talk about me. Talk about Chunks. Talk about how great the EU, EU community can be and is when you all pull together and we come to events like that. We chat it up. Have a little bit of shit talk. Have a good time. You know what? But at the same time, respect the play that we're here. We're trying to build a serious event. We want to be esports affiliated. We want to be taken serious. So show up to the event. Show some love. Post a tab. If you're at work, hey, keep us on. You know, one volume. We don't even got to listen to the majority of the thing. But put it up. Tab us up and get us that love. Where There's 24,000 viewers watching the PC every morning. 24,000 viewers. You're telling me we can't get 1,000 of those viewers here on the channel, here on the SSL, here in the PCL. It's all possible. I'm telling you guys. Get your minds in the right place. Put yourself in a position to group up as a community and together as an EU community. We could do so much more. NA's done it. You see BGE, you see PCL. SSL has the footwork, has the traffic, has the accountability, we'll even call it, because we're starting to build stuff. You guys have the room. You guys could do it. I know you guys can do it. I know people would support it, and I know EU PUBG would back it up if we could all be on the same page and stop the bickering. And we'll have to see, you know, what happens, man. Just just please bring back that energy. Bring back the team cohesiveness. You know, just as far as it comes together, the admins get together. The players get together. What do the players want? What could the admins bring for you guys as, as together? Can we bring the SSL, the core, the FPL all into one uh, general kind of vicinity discord? Keeping it spread out. Keeping it with the three discords. But keeping it to where we can all... You know, eventually get support so we have one big league ran by potentially all of us together where we have 48 teams sign up and we have a freaking $20,000 prize pool. I know you guys would love $20,000 in your pocket, especially to pay for. Imagine taking first place, taking home $10,000 and splitting that with your team rather than just taking 10 quid home every time. That right there is something to play for. You guys can do it. I know you guys as a community have what it takes to get yourselves there. So, you, again, don't discourage yourself. I'm going to leave you guys there. I'm going to let that soak. And, you know, hopefully you guys take that into consideration. Please tune in tomorrow to the PCL. Um, tune into the SSL. Anytime you guys see a tab, lurk. Tab it up. Just leave it there. You know, the amount of support that we're getting from you guys, we're starting to see the viewership start to climb up. The more that it climbs up, the more that we're going to be able to give back, the more that I'm going to be able to give back to you guys. And the more that I can give back, the more content we can deliver. The more content we can deliver, the more that we're going to get noticed. If EU decides to come out and take a look at one of the streams, if it's ran professionally, it's ran great, they see good content, or they see chat happening, you know what? We're going to get the backup. We're going to get the people to come in. And you guys, as the viewers, have that power. I'm going to do what I can to promote. I'm going to get with the admins to promote. But you guys have the all the power. Shine up. Show up. You guys are the viewers. You guys make all this worth it. You guys make it all count. And I do it for you. I do it for you. And I'm going to continue to do it for you guys because you know what? 
It gives me enjoyment. It gives me worth. It gives me something that, you know, I enjoy doing for you guys. So, that being said, I'm going to leave and love you guys there. There goes my controller down to the ground right now. You know, I guess it's GG's right there. Um, but, as I said, as I leave and love you guys here, let it be known. Again, get your team signed up. Don't be afraid. Um, SSL, again, we posted that there in the chat. Their leaderboard is there. But, get into these events. Sign your team up. Don't be afraid. There's so much more to play with. And, you know what? Um, information you need. Zevo, hit him up. Intel, I know, is in here. Hit him up. Any of the other Discord admins, hit him up. There's so many out there, you know, again. But, again, let's try to get on the same page. Get our mindsets all in one place. And then, you know what? Potentially, we could be a better EU community. We can make more um, moves as an EU community. And, you know, honestly, I'd just like to see us continue to grow. We've got to a point where we've done so much where we're just kind of at a plateau right now. Let's hit that spot up. Let's go up, baby. So, Leave and love you guys. It has been my pleasure. CC exclusives. Take care, you guys. Thank you all for tuning into the channel, and we'll catch you all next time. And again, be safe. Have a great weekend. It's Friday, baby. Have a great night, and we'll see everybody back tomorrow for the PCL on Saturday and Sunday. Same time, um, different place. It'll be on the PCL, but same time. And again, you guys know where to find that. PCL is big enough. We'll see you all there tomorrow. Peace.